Praise the Lord. Raise your hands wherever you are. Raise your hands wherever you are. The eternal rock of ages. You that sit in the circumference of yourself. We decree and declare that today, this testimony Sunday, something big is happening everywhere. That mantles are being dropped and people are picking them in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare to everyone that is here that your testimony is now. You are no longer next in line for a testimony. You are first in line for that testimony. Raise your hands and begin to decree it over your life. Begin to decree it over your life. You can do better than this. Begin to decree it over your life. Raise your voice. Parata to Zata Barido Shata Iket Yaso. Japapa Yata Liket Yasante Lipa Yate. Maprakato Zika Latabaha. Marapapa Yigato Shata Yikepea. Laka Papa Yate. Rika Po Sate. Mampratia Po Shata Yakabaha. Minta Kaparigadoza. Laka Papa Yate. Liparo Zate. Yaka Papa Yati Apo Jete. Limpa Yikat. Ya so shata ya kapayate rikoza angele dia sati payate peruza inte lika bahade ma shata paye rika papayata ya rika pomsate Minta ya kapahade, papari zote, zika pari kato, lata pari kate, reka papayi kato, reke dia zata ya kabaha, mante li kabahade, jeka pakata, raka paziade, jeka to. Glory be to God. I speak under the influence of my voice, which is the voice of God. Somebody under the influence of my voice now. Destinies are being altered. Changes are taking place. Testimonies are being written. Testimonies are being written. Satanic warehouses are being destroyed. We break into satanic warehouses. Remove all that you lost in the name of Jesus. Somebody under the influence of my voice is seeing a new day. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The book of Ephesians, chapter number six. Make sure you heard me saying, read the Bible. I never said sit down. Honor is a very important thing. You can kneel down before your pastor, but you can't sit down when the word is being read. There is a problem. That means you are worshipping your pastor. Parito malush kabayanos. Verse number 10. I want to start from verse number 10. Are you reading? Are you ready? It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Mm. Finally, in other words, I'm putting a conclusion. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Mm -hmm. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able. Now, notice. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wires of the enemy. Are you getting this? If you look closely, you realize that the armor of God only covers the front, never the back. The trick there is in the word put on. And that word put on is the word endure. It means to wear, to drown in it. That means the armor, you drown inside it. You are heavily protected, heavily guarded, heavily defended, God protected. Put on the whole armor of God. That's not where we are going. 
Are you getting this? Where you may be able to stand against the wires of the devil. Mm -hmm. For we wrestle not. This is it. I said this is it. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Every entity you are fighting, there is something powering it. Uh, turn to your neighbor. Say, if you don't feel the force to pray, someone is forcing you not to pray. <laughs> if you don't feel the force to pray, that means there is a force that is forcing you not to pray. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. You can sit down now. Parado Zavala Escuria Dale Gronda Baan Fra Ida Gazusas. It's good to see you. You look wonderful. I want you to understand that there are things that are happening in life today that are due to different entities that the church is not used to. I wish I wish I was in London or something. Notice what the scriptures are saying. It's saying, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That means any entity that looks like flesh and blood, even though they are putting a fierce battle against you, they are not responsible. It might be your uncle. It might be your sister. It might be an auntie. All of them are being forced by a certain entity to fight you. They might not know it, but there is something forcing them. You might be looking at me like that and it looks gloomy, this message, but at the end of this one, there is a deliverance for somebody. I came here for just a few minutes, but after those few minutes, your deliverance will be sure, your miracle will be definite, signed, sealed, and delivered, it shall be yours. One of the most hated services on earth is Spirit Ember Sunday service. Because demons know they are, not, they are not safe. Somebody here is killing a demon. Sit down in a few minutes. Ah, I feel this thing. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So anything that is flesh might be your husband. Might even be your wife. Might be a girlfriend, might be a boyfriend, might be a boss, might be a manager sitting on your contract. Oh. It might be a PR manager, human resources manager, somebody who should recruit you and is sitting on your curriculum vitae. They are not responsible. There is something, something. Let me explain. Before you are denied a visa to America, there is a spiritual immigration officer who has denied you. Now, nah, you, you, see, see, you're missing it. <laughs> All the crying you have, oh, I needed to go to China. I didn't get a visa. I needed to go to Britain. I didn't get a visa. Sir, ma'am, you think it's the British government. No. There is another copy of the British government, which is spiritual, <laughs> which has denied you before the interview. By the end of this service, and it's going to be very short, by the end of this short service, somebody here will be walking on water. Somebody here will be changing water into wine. Somebody here will be... Sit down. Sit down. I'm, I'm about to show you something. I'm about to show you something. And I wish you could listen because it is very, very powerful and potent. It's a potent message. Hear this. Hear this. But again, it's principalities. Malash. Again, it's powers. Those ones are not even dangerous. The most dangerous one is the again, it's rulers. All these demons have high ranks over rulers. But rulers control a territory or control a situation. Let me explain to you. Rulers have a throne. No, no, you're missing it. What, what it means is, if you notice, John was crying, looking for somebody who could open the book. 
And the Bible says, as he was crying, something came. An elder came from the throne and said, why are you crying? I have the information. Because rulers co-rule with God. But there are also rulers in the spiritual realm who co-rule with, with Satan. So these ones sit on thrones. When you meet a ruler, you are meeting a core Satan. You are meeting an assistant Satan. These ones are not like demons. They are demonic in nature, but they possess a certain power that they can make rules on their own, create their own constitution, apart from the ones demons are working on. These ones are not the ones you say out in the name of Jesus and they go. So most pastors meet rulers in their churches and they do three hours to cast out a ruler. Because rulers have thrones. They are seated in a certain location. I want to show you something. I wish you could understand this. So when you meet a ruler, you are in trouble. How do I notice the presence of a ruler in my life? Consistency and persistence of a case over your life is a sign of a ruler. Ah, you don't know why in your, every time you find a job, they will fire you. You don't know why. You don't know why in your family, every time somebody gets married, they divorce. Then your sister gets divorced. Your mother gets divorced. Then your father encourages your sister to come back home. You don't know why. Because you're thinking it's a demon. So you are busy casting out a demon when it's a ruler. Your sister is not married. You are not married. Your uncle is not married. Your parents divorced. You think it's just some pattern. Listen, the consistency and persistence of a pattern determine the presence of a ruler in your life. You are not hearing me, so I come here. Ice. Ice. No one in your family has ever gotten money yet. No one. And sometimes I call them almost miracles. Have you ever had an almost miracle? The man was bringing 20,000. Then, then, then just somebody just disturbed it. They were about to sign a contract and then, then, then this happened. I was about to get married then my father died. I was about to get the job, but, but then, then, then my sister, then it's always an almost miracle. That's a persistence and consistence of a pattern. Every time you see a pattern in your life, you're not dealing with a demon anymore. Demons are quick to notice the name of Jesus, out in the name of Jesus. The sons of Sceva were sons of priests. They said, out in the name of Jesus. Whom, in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches. The demon said, we know Paul. We know Jesus. Who are you? Because it wasn't just a demonic entity. It was a demon that controlled the territory. It possesses secrets of your family. This is not a generational case, sir. No. This is a demon that studies your family and sees that families prosper in this way and they break that every time. Every time there is a breakthrough, they cut it. Every time there is a breakthrough, they cut it. I wish I'm talking to somebody who is experiencing something like that. Ah! This type of spirits don't need a pastor, sir. They don't need an evangelist, sir. No. They don't need a teacher. No. They don't even need an apostle. This has nothing to do with church management. This needs somebody with an eye that can look into the future. Gaze into the future. Somebody who can travel into the future and get there before you get there. 
Answer. It doesn't even require a prophet. It needs more than a prophet. The Bible says it this way. Moses and the prophets. Huh? Moses was a prophet. But when God described him, he said Moses and the prophets. That means this is a prophet, but a beyond a prophet one. These are territorial commanders. People that get into the territory, destroy whatever is there. Remove it before you even do what? Mareta Balaskaba. Sit down. Consistence and persistence will prove that there is something powering. Now, if your case is powered from a throne, you are in danger. Because rulers sit on a throne. Demons are free roaming. They have no territory. They just nudge and go on a curse and catch on a curse. They know this is the curse you are experiencing. They are demons for this. They are demons for this. They are demons for that addiction. They can go there. But the moment it becomes a ruler, it sits on a throne. Let me tell you something. Why do you think that the Bible is written years back, even in Canada, America, Jamaica, Africa, South Africa, in Africa, all this Asia, if somebody reads it, can get born again today, whether they are in the toilet or in a good hotel. Why? Because there is a throne room powering that message. So nothing can stop that thing from happening. So you can stand there and be born again in this church. You can be walking down the street and be born again. Why? There is a throne powering that message. This one. It doesn't matter. You get money today. In whatever country, demons don't know access. They don't know you have gone to another country. You can be in Britain. You can be in America. No marriage will come. You can take yourself from this same Africa. Travel to a country where they say they love women there. Mm. Ay, 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 ay. Hey. You can wear any type of mini skirt. A skirt that ends where it starts, it doesn't matter. They will look at you and go like this. You wonder, but I've also put on makeup. Lipstick is there nicely. Why are they not looking at me? There is an asset. There is an economy powering your face not to be seen. Let me tell you something. A spirit that hides names. Look in the Bible. The Bible says it this way. And there was a certain woman. What? What about the name? Where is the name? And there was a certain man. The situation of the man, he had taken over his name. So nobody would know. Have you ever been at work and you solve a problem? Huh? You solve a problem and everyone is going, wow, wow, John, John is so marvelous. Then a meeting for rewards comes. And the manager said, we had a problem last week. Peter solved the issue. You look around. The boss is serious. It's Peter. But it was John. You are just sitting there going like, no, no, manager, tell him, tell him, please. There is a spirit that hides names. Your name will never surface. Your face will never surface. No matter what you do, it doesn't surface. In the mighty name of Jesus, there is a reverse taking place right now. All around the world, as you watch me, there is a reversal. Hi. Sit down. Sit down. Tell me, Jews don't even believe in Jesus Christ. Jews, to this day, they don't. Most of them don't. 90%, over 90% don't believe in Jesus. Yet there was one rule. They are a chosen people. A throne spoke that the Jews are chosen. So their unbelief is not affecting 
their prosperity. Because the economy is powering their life. Have you not seen people that, you, you know this one does not pray like me. Even in this service right now, I can be ministering right now and I say prophetic, prophetic time. I'll look at you like this and move to another person like this. Ah. You wonder why, why I'm also dressed like them. Even if you bring that blue, nice, nice uniform of yours, I go past you, even smile, even high five you like this and go to another and prophesy. Ah! Someone is crying. They say, not today, not today. Aye. What's really taking place? Do you think you can compete with the Queen of England? She's dead now. There is a secret that she even refused to take some of the medications that she had. She was tired of living. Tired. You know when you get tired. Like I need to go. To get lazy. To breathe. You, you'll be 20, dying. What causes God to look at people and save them and ignore others? Why is it that Stephen is being stoned and God stands up from the throne to inspect the damage? Yet countries are burning, villages are dying, and nobody stands up to inspect the, village, the, the damage. Yet you. You are suffering every day. No, it seems as if God is not there. The more, the more you pray, the more distant he becomes. I'm going this side. <laughs> uh, this is not working, this side. This side is complaining too much. Complaining. Sit down. Listen to me. That King James Bible you read every day, that was the queen's family that gave it to you. That became their throne. <laughs> you cannot do nothing to that family. Ah, people were angry. We had Charles. The moment Charles was put in place, everyone, King Charles, King Charles. You wonder why. There are things that he himself can't control. It will be a crusade here. And it will be my monitoring. Somebody's mother who did something for a preacher somewhere, someday, will be in their family doing something. One service. He was even smoking before he came to church. And you see the preacher just going straight to him. He has all this nonsense. The clothes are shabby. He even smells alcohol, alcohol. And the preacher says, God is going to take you to hype. Ah, ah. This one, he's my friend now. I know he is. He's crazy. There is a throne powering it. Maleka Salamo. Fertolia Kumayakabo. Your situation will bow. I said, your situation will bow. Your situation will bow. Even you men, in your whole family, the most useless one seems to be loved by the family. You, you, you are like, but I'm the one who is doing all these things. Have you noticed that you can go home and they say, you are the one with the money. They say, oh, let's wait for brother so-and-so. He is the one who controls the family. Huh? What money has he added to the family? Even during funerals, they will choose that one. <laughs> Different thrones are powering people. But we are sitting down thinking there is something greater. There are things that are powering people now. This is why it's so dangerous to fight men. 
You don't know which throne is powering them. <laughs> you might find the wrong one at the wrong time. I speak to everyone here. As a prophet, not just as a man, as a prophet, I speak to you. This is dangerous. You have to receive this one. I eradicate every throne, every throne, every altar, every power, every dominion, every stronghold. Malisha Lamanka, Serunamangros Tabalas. Hear me well. Are you hearing? Sit down. Sit down. Some of the things that makes you a victim of somebody's evil throne powering them is association. Who is your friend? Who are you moving with every day? Listen, do you know Jonah in the Bible? Jonah was sent to another country and went to another country. He was supposed to go to Nineveh and went to Tashish. Maybe some people think these are spiritual places. No, it's simply Iraq and Spain. He's supposed to go to Iraq, he went to Spain. That's it. So when you have Nineveh and Tashish, ah, seems like some spiritual location. You see, I hear people going like, you know, when God took the soil in heaven. No, it was in Israel. The soil that was formed by God to create Adam. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. You're seeing him in heaven sitting on his throne. Where will he get the soil? The heaven soil. Tofiaqua. Listen to this. Jonah is in that location. He's on the boat. Nobody in the boat knew him. They did not know his parents. He even paid the fare to get to Tashish. But the boat began to rock. Everyone in the boat is being rocked with Jonah. But we understand what Jonah is going through. And Jonah knows the issue. They were troubled until they asked something is wrong in this place. And Jonah was fair enough to say, I think it's me. But notice before he left, before they threw him, they lost goods. There is money you lost. Not because you were supposed to lose it. But because of an association with somebody who is an altar in the throne fighting them. Ah. Imagine one day you get involved in an accident just because the driver has a throne. Malato Gushka Baresta. I said, there's a throne fighting them. You don't know the dynamics of God to the point where you think you're just safe wherever you're going, you're safe. Who is driving you? Do you even know the pilot? The plane you are on, do you know the pilot? Even if they announce the pilot, yes, uh, our captain today is this. But are you able enough to cancel the altar in the throne of the pilot? Are you strong enough? <laughs> they can make the road clean today. The whole road is clean nicely like the roads in this country have been fixed. Now, they can make the road okay. You get involved in the extent. You won't understand why. You are not even the one driving. Because somebody else has a throne fighting them. You just want to go to China to buy goods to put in your shop. But somebody is fighting the pilot. Ah. Sit down. Listen, there is a dark world out here. If you need a personal tutor, you need a personal doctor, why don't you need a personal prophet? Oh, I know. Did I say that out loud? 
You are too busy. You know, if, I'm, if I move you from this location to another housing estate, do you know what you do? You want to look for the best school for your kids. Is there, are we near a hospital? Mm -hmm. Are we near a supermarket? But do you even sit down and say, are we near the prophet? Spiritually, are we close to the prophet? Are we close to somebody who can see and hear and know? Ah! Sit down. <laughs> I told you the truth. I have a book on this. It's called Greater Than Magic. It's coming very soon. Let me tell you something. The Christianity that you are practicing now in fact, 99.99999% of all Christians have not seen the real Christianity. The Christianity we are practicing is an imitation of a very bad copy. I dare to say it is a lie. It is simply a conglomeration Affects points from motivational speakers sprinkled with a little bit of scripture and lies and lies over lies over other lies of non existent experiences that the preacher never had. Have you noticed every general who stands there and arrests five people from the dead has videos that predate the death he's saying he raised people, but we don't have videos for him raising the dead. Do you realize they say they did all these things? There was somebody who had no leg. I laid my hands on that. The leg grew and the leg came out. He has all the videos of everything else except that one. Because we know one thing about scripture. It says, many are those who will believe without seeing. Oh. So the throne spoke that if you want people to believe, don't prove to them. Just tell them a story. They will believe. Now that's the other effect of that one. And there is of course the meaning of this verse. But there is the opposite meaning of this. That means people like being told. Have you ever been with your friend and somebody tells you, you know, yesterday I was in, in Zambia and we did this and we did this and, and you're all going, like, wow, wow. Then you live with your friend and your friend says, ah, what, what? What Apostle did in Zambia last week? Ah, oh, powerful. People with no fingers, they came back. Did you see it? Yes, we were there with him. Yet they were told. They will, they will skip the part that they were told. Men like stories. Women more. Women are affected by stories, by news. Just go to one and say, I love you like a pop in a guava tree. They will be laughing, laughing, laughing. The next minute, ah. Just words. Simple, stupid words. They are, they are in. Do you know why? Because their only power is on their mouth. Physically, men were created stronger. Of course, we have some weak ones. Those ones fell the conveyor belt when God was creating real men. But you understand we have... We have the general thing, even biologically, men are stronger. So you are strong on your body, you are strong on your frame, so that you protect the woman. But the woman now, everything else is not as strong as a man. So the only thing that they can use is this. So when you accuse them for gossip, they're just using what comes naturally to them. Oh, I, knew, I knew this would not like me, so I go here. I'm trying to praise you women, but uh, it's getting very difficult now. So the biggest and the very best evangelist you can find is a woman. 
That's why when Jesus died and resurrected, it is only a woman that saw it first. Oh, you're not hearing what I'm talking about. Why? Because there is a power. Jonah does this. And it kills the prosperity of the people that were carrying their own goods. Maybe that was their business. They were merchants. Carrying things from one location to the other. From Israel to Spain. But there is a problem. The people that are on the same boat with them have something fighting them. Imagine the time of Mary. How the Bible spoke that a virgin shall give birth to the Messiah. And everyone in Israel wants to give birth to the Messiah. But some women are not crossing their legs. So that means you made yourself exempt from the prophetic word. Because there is a throne powering your family to sleep with every man that... Now, the moment you lose your virginity, you're no longer a candidate to give birth to Jesus. Do you notice the prophets of Mary never carried the name Mary? That means it was possible for the wife, to, or the woman to be called Teresa. Susan. It wasn't meant to be Mary. That's why the Bible says highly favored. If she was highly favored, she highly did not deserve. But when she heard the prophetic word, she knew, I have to get my source to power me. Some people are being powered negatively. That even if there is a prophecy, you abort the own prophecy by your actions. And the prophecy said, okay, for those that remained virgins, maybe let's say 1,000 remained virgins, there was still another prophecy. Jesus is from the root of David. So he is from Judah. So the father should be from Judah. So when you see that now, you can't have a boyfriend from Simeon. You can't have a boyfriend from the house of Benjamin. You can't. So the first time a man stops you, stop there. You go like, which family do you? The moment they say Benjamin, you say, no, 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 I'm not doing that. I don't date from that family. I'm sorry. There is a prophetic word you need to cancel out thrones. You're not getting what I'm trying to say. La rota bayo so maye. First Chronicles. First Chronicles. I want to give you. First Chronicles. Marete Giro Samandos. First Chronicles. Chapter number four. First Chronicles, chapter number four. Maria Munglesh Dagaro Tamove. Verse number one. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? One, two, three. Let's read. The sons of Judah, Phares, Hezron, Kami, E, Shobal. Let's go. And Rea. Let's go. Raise your voice. Son of Shobal beget Jahath. Uh -huh. Jahath beget Ahumai and Lahad. These are the families of the Zora Heights. Just imagine your girlfriend called Zora Height. How are you, Zora Height? <laughs> are you going to see names here? And these were the father of what? Etam, Jezreel, Ishma, Idbash. And the name of their sister was Hazelepon. Now, if he, if he was from these days, go back to three. If she was from this, she would be called Hazel. It's only the family who know you as Hazel. Let's go. And Peniel, the father of Gedo, and Ezra, the father of Husha, these are the sons of Eh, the firstborn of Ephrata, and the father of Bethlehem. Mm. And Asher, the father of Tekoa, and two wives, Hela and Nara. Mm. Do you notice? There is nothing written about them. There is a throne fighting their existence. 
Imagine your life. Do you know if you die today, we will cry today. By, by afternoon, we will be telling jokes. Eating, even with the toothpick going like this. Oh, he was funny. Oh. <laughs> Play around with death. People will forget you the next minute. Their pain, pain is something. Eh? Pain can go like this. Then they wait for two more months and then they think of you, then remember. I remember my father. I remember what he told me about my grandfather. Maybe three or four stories. That's it. If you ask me about my grandfather, I know three or four stories. That's the end of it. I don't know nothing else. What about his father? No nothing. Zero. But what causes Kenneth Hagen to look like he's still alive? What causes T.B. Joshua to look like you can even go to Nigeria and meet him? Is it a video? <laughs> you are playing around. There are thrones powering these people. That they will still be alive even if they are dead. You will not be forgotten. In a few minutes, I'll be finished. <laughs> Listen, sit down. You need to be in a location where your throne is powering you. That every time they talk about you, they say, if it wasn't for that man, our family would be broke to this day. Ah! <laughs> I speak to someone here. I see you now. I said, I speak to someone here. Something under the influence of my voice is changing. Let's go. Raise your hands and begin to decree. Begin to decree. Begin to decree. Zata paridia so tala kia kate, jeparada zia kato, zapa yeta kali brang tuze, yenta raga bahade, jeparo zata lika bahade, manto zeka bahade. La frodu kabala gradia hasko, le ju prodiko pala karado hoske, revu la brado huske fedia hasko, ya kula brado huske fedia, ye palo rekida bahase gede, la lo fedia kopada hasko, le ju prodiko pradia hasko, la brado so fedia hasko, li kore pala doske fedia hasko. In Jesus, might name we pray. Balara tenos. I told you. Hear this. Sit down, sit down. Let's proceed. And Nara, are you there? Yes. And Nara bear him Awuzam, and Hefer, and Temem, and Hashtan. They were the sons of Nara. Mm. And the sons of Hela were Zareth, and Jezoa, and Ethan. Are you getting this? Imagine. Just your history carries you with a name. That's it. That's it. Done. Nothing you have done. Who remembers? Right now, we are being told by the Bible the history of these people. And we don't know what they did. Do you know who Jezo who is? He's you know, the son of Hela. Do you know Ethnan? What did he achieve? Do you, do you see this? Do you think it's fair that all your sweat, all your labor, the children you give, their children's children don't even know you? You don't know your great-grandfather's name. You, right now, the name. Forget about what he did, the name you don't. Do you know why? He was useless. Uh-uh. I refuse to be useless. I refuse. I refuse to be useless. Ah. I said I refuse. Ethnan. Ethnan is dead. 
If you go to Israel, not even his bones are known. Nowhere. Aish. But go to Israel right now. David's grave is there. They go to view it. They pay money to see the grave. Samuel's grave is still there. Aish. They will tell you this is the location where Moses stopped the moon over the valley of Ajalon. And you've been in the valley of Ajalon. They say, this is Ajalon, sir. So, wow, this is Ajalon. Yes, Ajalon. What about you? You will die like Ethnan. You will be like Zereth. You don't understand altars. How do I not become this? Because you are ignoring that they are thrones powering your enmity with God. They are thrones powering you to prosper in a negative direction. You are prospering and managing demons. Everything about your life fails. No matter what you try. Some of us, we have thrones fighting us. Ah, it will look like we are down for two weeks. For one week. When we come with the promotion, boom. Ah, ah. You see, you see, you think I, I look around when I see, when I see people say, oh, Angel is no longer an ambassador and they just put it there. Do, do you think when, when, when people who are concerned like men of God and other politicians come and say, what is this? Do you think I'm concerned? I know it's a, it's a throne I fought way back. I'm still here. I'm still an ambassador. The issue with you is which ambassador, the African one or the Zimbabwean one? Both of them. Nobody fired me from anywhere. Sit down. And as if, if that is not there, I'm an ambassador of heaven, bigger than anything. That one, I never get fired. I will never be removed. Sit down. And let me just explain to you some, because I know you. Let me just explain to you here as my children so you understand. There is nobody who gets fired from me being an ambassador. An ambassador is a life term. It's just that people don't know, don't know politics. Even when you resign, you're still an ambassador. Even when you die, they say that's the grave of the ambassador. You, you, you're just weak. You don't know politics. You can be removed from functioning in a location like you are an ambassador of America. They remove you from America. But you are already, it's a lifetime title. Yeah. Nobody gets from there. Same thing with the prophetic. You can be voted out as a politician. No one can vote me out of prophecy. I'm the leader of it. I control this space. I run this joint. Do you know why I never looked for anyone who is better than me in prophecy? Do you know why? Because there's nobody. Chitanda is in the language. This chick is mine. Oh, these who are prophesying are children. Vafana, vafana. They are young men. I challenge any. Sit down. They are mistaken. They don't know who I am. In the prophetic, no say, no ma'am, I'm a throne there. I'm very sharp prophetically, more than any human alive now. Here they sit down. You have a video. You have a video of Rodin Howard Brown saying I've never seen anyone like this and I've seen revivals, number one Prophet Cobus said since the times he's on video, 
since the times of William Branham, no man has ever existed like you better enjoying the prophetic. That's... Sit down. Let's go to Pastor Chris. What did he say? The most remarkable prophet to Christianity in this generation. Let's go to you, Ben Angel. I'm simply number one. Sit down. Sit down. The prophetic is not about calling somebody's name. I'm number one there too. <laughs> Sit down. It's not about that. It's about being a keeper of the secrets of God. It's about keeping generations alive. How big you are in the prophetic is about how many people congregate trying to get your distribution and dispensation. Your distributions of the prophetic to generations. It's more than calling a name. Real prophetic leadership is understanding the times and seasons of what God is doing in the time, seasons. Prophets sir, are elders in the spirit. They are witnesses. It's not about your name is John, your, your friend, you your, your ate beans last night. We do that. <laughs> it's about being crossover leaders. Have you noticed how men of God, and I still call them men of God because I respect them, how men of God are commenting on something that they don't know. How do, who gives you the power to comment on politics when you have never held a political office? Stick to stealing people's money behind the pulpit. How do you know what an ambassador does? How do you know? Who told you what we do in our country? Who told you? Why are you commenting? You are in Nigeria, you are commenting about Zimbabwe. You have no idea what we do here. Sir, so you, you, are, you are a major street. You are a major street. If a country's laws say you are not guilty, what does it mean? It means you are not guilty. So how can you be guilty by a Nigerian? By a Nigerian standard. Yet Zimbabweans say you're not, you're not guilty. It's nonsense. It's called, I call it spiritual diarrhea. They have no brain inside. You cut it, you'll find poop inside. I told you. I'm a prophet 100%. I fight fire by fire. How many of you wake up and you know what, what, what the prophetic is all about? Have you noticed the people that are correcting the prophetic you don't prophesy? They say, yes, we can prophesy. Do it! Me, I have a lot of money. If I want to buy a house, I can buy. Buy! Sit down. It's so easy to shout, can I prophesy? It is the prophets that is difficult. And when you now know the details of a person, you say, can I prophesy? The next question is, can you pay? Busy commenting on something they have no idea. They know everything. The Islamic move is against the prophetic. And they will do anything to discredit it. And it is the Christians, that's why we die 
because of lack of knowledge. We don't know the move of thrones. How thrones are fueling Islam to take over. That is a consistent thing. It's a move. Do you understand what a God stands for? It's a demonic entity. It is even connected to other religions. You know the God? The real animal called God. The satanic symbol is a God. So when they decided we need everybody to speak about our God, they created greatest of all time. So every Christian is saying, I'm the God. I'm the God. Even me, I'm the God. So the God becomes so powerful. And yet if you look at the symbols of satanism, the God is the animal they use. So now you're post posting it on your profile as a God. Very smart what they are doing. So when Islam's main reality is there is no other prophet but Muhammad, what will they do? They formulate an organization to follow what is called the prophet to the generation, to the prophet to the dispensation, so that they can discredit him. But they advertise them. Within four weeks, we had gained almost what? 1,000 members. 1,000 prophets. Four weeks. Four weeks. Which is not, one I'm month. not talking about other branches. I'm talking about Harare only. That's in 30 days. Over 1,000 joined. During their onslaught, what happened? Churches were full to capacity, increasing in number. We grew by over 40%, the whole ministry. I should do an each. Iwe. 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 That's not Mira Musi. I had to know Mira Musi. What do you think? How come in your family you have never created not even a dollar? You see? Christianity is losing mileage on one thing. We are not taking over political rules and political roles and political thrones. We are not. We are seated there just speaking in tongues. Do you understand for Jesus to be removed from the throne, it needed a senator? Sit down. <laughs> they had to go and ask a senator who believed in Jesus. Give us the right to remove Jesus from there. Politics was important for your own Lord and Savior to be removed from the throne. Without that politician, rising from the grave was going to be impossible. The prophets would have said, rising from the cross. A politician, they asked the politician, and then the politician provided the grave. <laughs> you play around with politics it is important I speak now not only to this house but to every Christian out there take over listen to me now take over political roles in your nation I'm speaking to politicians to, to people right now Barretta Lagosia right now Le Shumara Takino Mahande Soprates. Raise your hands. I speak now by the authority of the Spirit. Every Christian there, don't be lazy, don't listen to crazy apostles whose main duty is to steal money from people by lies and lies and lies, lying about experiences they never had. Listen to me now. Take political roles. Take over. Be an MP. Be a governor. 
be the president of your country. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, if you are not into this spiritual cannibalism and political cannibalism, fights and fights and fights, and you're only here for Jesus, take over roles in your country. Be a governor. Be a deacon who is a governor, a mayor, an MP. Join the legislation. Be part of the legislation. Draft rules for your country that will not affect Christianity. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are given the power to do so now. In the name of Jesus, be a crossover leader. In Jesus' name. Sit down. And some of you have a problem. You think only after, during elections, I can get a position. No. There are many political positions that don't need an election. Well, at least we want you to be accountants. But why don't you control that location in a political arm? What did I say? In a what? In a political arm. Control that location. Control that environment. Control it. Take over. Don't listen to foolishness. The church is full of foolishness nowadays. You see why it's easy? Because you know if I, if I don't speak about Hubert Angel, my life is not interesting as a pastor. But Hubert Angel is more interesting and it's got thousands and millions of followers. If I speak against him, people will run and say, what is he saying? What is he saying? It's always nice. It's always nice to speak about the person who is above you. It's always nice. Why would you talk about somebody lower than you? Or equal to you? It doesn't make sense. You promote them. But the moment you speak to somebody about somebody who is bigger than you, ah, everyone wants to know, what are you saying? What are you saying? When I do like this, people say, Angel was so angry. I'm passionate, sir. I don't get angered by fools. I'm passionate for Christians to be called the president of that country is this. The president of that country is a Christian. The president of that country is a Christian. And I mean a real Christian. Not by name. Because it is not by power or by might. But by the spirit. This is why people who are Christians, when they get into power, you wonder were they Christians. The rules that they implement, the things that, because it is by the Spirit. So you need the Holy Ghost filled person to fill the position of governor, of mayor, of counselor. Now, since those ones are electable ones, you have to be elected to be there. There are also others that are in the departments. That are being advertised. Even the council is advertising in your country. The government is advertising for locations that don't need an election. You just need your CV. Oh, but say, if it needs my CV, sir, uh, who is going to help me? There is an altar. There is a throne. And it has been created right this minute. And it's powering you now. Sit down. I want to show you something. I was with Pastor Nyasha here, and I'm, I called him. Went to a certain location. I said, pray here. He prayed in that location. When, I said, when you are about, when you finish, you will see what will happen there. As he was leaving, just my house here, under a tree. I said, go and pray there. I pray there myself. Go and pray there. Do you know what happened? Half of the tree fell. In the middle, pa fell. It's true, Baba. The following day, the people he was competing with came to him and said, Sir, which witch did you use? True. They said they went to, to, to Mozambique and paid money. What witchcraft did you use? He said, I used a prophet. He said, No, there is no prophet who can be able to replace that, what we did. It's true, you, you, you think 
You think this is some, some joke we are doing? Sir, there is a throne, ma'am. There is a certain throne that God has placed us in. It is speaking for you now. No one will kill you in the name of Jesus. No one will kill you. Hey. Not one will kill you. You will fulfill your calling. Now some of you have never seen even 10,000 in your bank account. Never seen 5,000. Never seen 2,000. Never seen 3,000. Never seen 1,000. Never. Your whole life, never seen it. You have never seen it. Even if you save, you know it's never going to come. You have never seen money, you. To, it, listen, you'll be working with somebody who is lower than you. You live in the same neighborhood. Your house rent is lower. But they seem to be having a car now. You don't. Your salary is the same. What has happened? That's why the Bible says, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. Meaning to say there is an entity called a devourer that steals money. Ah, you, you're not getting me. There is a devourer that takes money from you. All right, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever gone into town and you have got like $100 and you just buy something for $60? When you go home, you go count the money. You'll be thinking, wait a minute. I know I can account for $30. But what did the other $30? What did I buy? It can be $5. You will not know what you bought. It. You, you look everywhere. You know you were in the car. You never left. Everything you bought, it was by the window. You got the goods. You have the money. You can count it. Skisty $5. Where is the $35? Hmm. Where is the five dollars? What happened? There is a throne. Powered to take your money. It knows every angle to steal money. Look at how beautiful you are. Your friend is married. That crazy one. I don't want to say much. Mahure gandar guru orwa iwa una. Only prostitutes are being married, and you're not. You already know this is a prostitute. This one, and the lady is not even joking about it. She knows she's a prostitute. She advertises the assets on Instagram. Three months of your prayer line, prayer time. The moment you pray for three months fasting, the following day of finishing your fast, that prostitute is now getting married. And this is not something like the men didn't know this one is a prostitute. No, the men knew this is a prostitute. How come prostitutes are getting married? See, you're here. You're looking like this. <laughs> the way you prayed. Even your husband is with you, is now divorcing you for the end, very ugly woman. You look in the mirror, you wonder, what did he see? Check your father, it's the same. Check your mother, it's the same. Your uncle, is the same. Your brother, is the same. Your sister, is the same. There is a throne being powered. You can't sleep, ma'am. You can't. Someone called me and said, why can't you sleep? I wake up 2 a.m., I find you. 4 a.m., I find you. I say, hey, some of our battles are many. So we don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't like sleeping. We have developed a pattern of no sleep. Not because we are troubled, but we are awake. Some of you don't even like prayer. You hate it. 
you, you don't like prayer at all. But prayer is an opportunity to fire bullets. To fire missiles. And I told you before, imagine you wake up one day, you are in the army, the Zimbabwean army, the British army, the American army, and you are in uh, Congo, or you are in a location where you're doing peacekeeping, or you are in Kenya fighting the Al-Shabaab, or you are in Iraq fighting whatever, let's say Al-Qaeda. And you wake up and you, you hear firing. Bullets are flying over your head. You go like, ah, today I'm tired. I will not hold the gun today. What do you think will happen? You are smart. You are smart. So prayer is like that. Every morning, even if no one is firing, just wake up. Ratabaya kuku ya paratu zinamaye. Resoma lakaya katoma. Peruna Julia Negarasuya, Parasuvia non tre kira ma anda liga sgaya, zero dala kafush. And don't start with this lovey dovey, lovey dovey uh, tongues, little holes of the angry videos and ah, go machine gun to start with. Put the heavy guns. Bara, bara, bara baya, lisho bara te kuriya na diamo, retele mahaya, paraza, paraza, daria tuni amagare. Let the devil go like, hey, I've not even shot nothing. React. Why are you reacting like this? The devil should just wake up being shot at. For no reason. You know, the devil is not afraid. He even tempted Jesus. And after Jesus resisted him, look at what the Bible says. The devil left him for a little while. Huh? The God who created him said, no, I'll come back. I'm not finished. Ah. What about you from Tegwede? <laughs> you from Chavalala here in Soweto? <laughs> you think the, the devil is going to be like, yeah, 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 I've been shot at. I'm not, I'm not coming back again. No. Just shoot him for no reason. When I was, sit down, sit down. When I was in doing my O level, we had a teacher called Mr. Mtonori. At a school called St. Anton's. And the guy would walk like this. So we could see his face bouncing through the, you know, by the windows as he's coming like this. I was with him. Stand up. I was in the same class with him. Yes, sir. And he'll be just doing like this. Then when he gets in the classroom, he just go, for no reason. <laughs> then he asks you a question. What is oral tradition? Yes, sir. Ah! We have not even answered. The way you answer that one, you'll be sitting there saying, he's coming this direction. My God, I'm going to answer no matter what. You could even beat the whole class. <laughs> For no reason. <laughs> then we had one code. Remember Mashavave? Yes, sir. The guy would just go there and say, what did you get? You say, 10 out of 10. Then he says, you. You say, Two out of ten. You, why did he not teach him? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you are in trouble whether you are good or you are bad. That's exactly what we need to do with the devil. He's in trouble whether he's good today or he's bad. He's in trouble because we know his goodness has an intention that is bad. Shout be the devil whether he's good or bad. Because every time the devil is good, he has bad intentions. I preached a message one time called when a, when a liar tells the truth. When a liar, you know this one is a liar, but you know he's telling the truth today. Something is wrong in that truth. Don't be like, wow, wow, he's telling the truth. He has started telling the truth now. No, wait for two weeks. You will see why he told you the truth. Sit down. Have you seen people that, that will report the, the husband to the wife and go like, ma'am, you know, I'm not saying anything, but your husband is a girlfriend. You see, it's just to help you. Ah! What do you think is going to happen to this woman? 
She's going to be like, oh my God, Pastor Nyasha was helping me. No way. She will think you are helping, but the whole marriage is rigged. <laughs> ah, how are you today, ma'am? I saw your husband by the corner there around 1 a.m. Hey! I'm just helping you. <laughs> you think it's a help? You, you think it's a help? Turn to your neighbor and say, when a liar tells the truth, be careful. So whether the devil is good or bad that day, we should beat him up. Why? You are the devil. That's why we are beating you. What has happened? I don't know, but I'm going to beat you. That's what you should do with your prayer life. Every morning, every afternoon, when you think about it, you might just be walking like this. You say, ah, ah, ah. I've been praying for money. I need to fire the devil. Ratumala. Zekuma. Verto in the Maliga is going up. Ratainu Maligo. Samaria. Para de Kuvia Nazoyatale. Tropo Topotoplia. Rizizojiki. Praktela Gaga. Even the devil knows I've been mashed up. Sit down. What throne are you using? Did you realize you have a throne? Did you notice you have a throne? But you're not using it. Because your idea is thinking. As long as I go to church on Sunday, I'm fixed. No. When you leave, the devil will be waiting for you outside to inspect whether there is a change in the church. You know the demons that... that that are outside the gate now. The ones you left before you. The ones you left in the car. They were afraid to enter here. They are simply waiting. We just wait for you to come back. When you go there, they say, mm. one will be waiting there. One will be informing the others like, ah, yeah, 50% chance we can get in. He's still there. Because while we are preaching like this, you're on your WhatsApp. Yes, I'm just, I'm just, I'm about to come now. Don't worry. I know when he does like this, he's about to round up. So it's, it's very, very soon. And the person is watching, say, but, but he's, he has not even taken the offering yet. So the time for service is not over. You go like, no, relax. I'm now, now. And you are busy. And you miss your revelation. Because every allotment of time, there is an assortment of possibilities. A conglomeration of opportunities. Based on deliberations of spirits. So it means every time you are given, there are demons allocated to that time for you to fall. And they are meeting right now discussing that this, these three hours from service to finish, these ones, what is happening? We need five demons to confuse him when he comes out. That's it. That's all the demons are waiting for. Just for you to suffer. And you don't know it. You don't know their discussions. Do you know Job? If you read the book of Job, you will see it. First Chronicles, that part. Let's put it there. That one that we dealt with quickly because of time. It is First Chronicles chapter number four. Are we still there? Let's go to seven, eight. And calls beget Anub and Zoroba and the families of Ahir, the son of Arum. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Oh, this was. Don't come Jabez was better than all of them. You bet angel. My God. Aish. 
As for you, but angel, he took over the world. That preachers from other countries would fight him to gain relevance. That's me. They can't finish the whole service without talking about me. And they talk about me by name. Now what can they do now? Pastor Chris, the apostle to a generation. Do you think Pastor Chris is just accepting everything I do? Yes, good. It's good. Pastor Chris shouted at me. Shouts. Pastor Chris shouts at me. If I do something off, no, you think it's just like, oh, my son, thank you, good, good, you are doing well. No, I didn't look for him for, for prominence. Let's say, ma'am, I fill up stadiums. I went there when I was now filling up stadiums. I didn't go there for a platform. Say, I have platforms. I went there to Pastor Chris for my life, my personal salvation, me. As a preacher, I realized I needed something. Somebody to control this. I had enough power to mess up my own life. Not only power, power with authority. You know, submission is power under control. Ah, the mistakes I'm making now are simply mean being trouble, troublesome. But the reality is, I looked for a father for me. I knew he was my father way back and I tried to look for him. I couldn't get a hold of him. Because I was too immature, I thought I needed him physically to hold his hand like this. Whereas I needed his message, whatever he was preaching was for me. Have you noticed that the same people that fight Hubert Angel will fight Pastor Chris and some of them will even support him and fight the son. They want to be like him. They can't be like him. One recently started attacking healing school. Said, no, they, they, the ones who are sick simply need the word of God. Who do you think we are doing at the healing school? You think we're, we, we're teaching them to, to fall? We're teaching them the word of God concerning healing. Same thing you are saying is the same thing we are doing there. But because you're seeking relevance. My team showed me today a man that I respected with everything in me. Trying to tear down healing school. Healing school this, healing school this. I said, do you, do you know, do you know the impact of that man called Chris Oyakilome? Do you know the impact? Do you know? At one time they distributed 22 billion rubs of realities. Do you understand 22 billion? Do you know to print our own uh, Good News Daily is one pound 50. Now, just say one pound 50 by 22 billion. Now you understand, they are, this is only one department moving billions of dollars to give people the message for free. And you hopped on a video recorder sitting in your chair. Say, so yes, healing school is not biblical. Hey, hey. grow up. Yeah, we just need the word of God. That word of God is what we are pre preaching. I've attended many healing schools. There is nothing there that you can say, oh, it's off. No, just the word of God. You see, when I'm preaching here, I'm preaching about thrones, pouring, even marriage, even whatever. Do you think me preaching this would heal a person? Very rarely would it. Because the directed message, remember, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So if I preach the message on prosperity, Faith on prosperity is developed. If I preach the message on healing, faith on healing is developed. So if I put people in one place and what you need right now, sir, what is your testimony that you need? What you want God for, to do for you? Quickly because of time. I don't have a mic. I need financial breakthrough. What you want to do? What you want? Then be specific. One miracle. I need a business, few business. Business. Okay. So if I preach about healing to this man, that's off. What is here for? So when you may God deliver it. I receive, so, I receive, so if I 
So if I put a people here that are seeking prosperity, I teach on principles of prosperity, faith on that prosperity. Why did I preach on thrones today? Because God told me to. But thrones cover almost everything. Because there are some sicknesses in your family that never leave your family. You know your uncle died of heart attack. Your sister heart attack. You also went to the hospital and they said there's a heart problem. Your grandmother died of heart attack. You think it's just a genetic thing? No. There is a throne that is powering that sickness. And if you don't deal with it, it will deal with you. Today. By your association with me. Every throne contrary to you is cancelled now. Every entity sitting on a throne against your prosperity is cancelled now. Bariku Jamale Zekurate Bayino. Something is taking place right this minute. Raise your hands. Begin to decree it. Begin to decree it over your life. That it is done, it is done, it is done, it is done. It is done, it is done. Libo shata yaka barede. Jepa raka badiaso. Jaketo ibaraka bahade. It is done, it is done, it is done. Maka prakto zete yika bahade. Mate yika paradiaso. Libo papaya. Raka bazete. Yika pro sate yika bahade. Jatata raka badiaso. Jepa rika po sata yaka. Mate. Zatayakabalikate, <laughs> Mighty name, sit down. We're finishing in a few minutes. Now imagine, imagine, are you here? Imagine you're moving like this. And let's say it's just today. You find that your bank account is now carrying a certain amount you never thought it would carry. I was talking to my daughter one time, just a few days ago, and I said, what is your salary? And she said, some amount. And I said, that's the, that's the price of my perfume. So every time I walk past you, and you go, you are smelling your salary. <laughs> refuse to be that broke. I said, refuse to be that broke. Refuse to be that broke. From today onwards, your account is carrying a certain amount. Ah, if the bank says we need a balance that stays here, which is 200, God times 200 percent. I want that one. Every time it will be there. Revelation 2 verse number 12. As you are standing or sitting down, whatever you want. I want you to see something very quickly. I didn't want to read this. And the angel of the church in Pergamos write, This thing say the witch had the sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works. Are you getting this? Where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. Ah. This is in Turkey. Sit down. Between Turk and Greece, this is this thing. It says even Satan put his physical throne there. <laughs> One day when we mature in the teaching field, uh, in the teaching rather lessons where you learn from a teacher of my caliber, I will go down. Did you deeper? Sir? I will go deeper. <laughs> Yeah. 
Right now, I'm not going to do this. Otherwise, I would have gone deeper with this. Even tell you where the throne is, who is the president in that country, where is the throne where the devil is now on earth, sitting down now. But I take my time because I'm trying to change the Arare branch into a branch where you just receive teachings. London is fixed. They know teachings. Harare branch not yet. So I'm trying to get into my angle, which is teaching field. But I, you have no time for this, for now. It's getting there bit by bit. I'm very strategic in the things. I, I'm mixing preaching and teaching at the same time. So that at least you get to a point where I know, oh, oh now they want to know the facts. Then I give it to you. Very few people are teachers in Africa. Very few. I don't think there are even five teachers. In this country, I don't know any. Real teacher. I'm not talking about preacher here. I'm talking about a teacher. I don't know any here in this country. You see, there's a big difference in me speaking my message slowly. And giving you examples. And because of how you grew up, you think that's a teacher. No. It's didactic. It's deep. Really, a teacher rarely goes to the Old Testament. <laughs> you see, remember, I said I don't know any in this country. I did not say they are not there. Me, just me. But I speak like Paul. He said, I, I, me, not the Lord, but I'm a man to trust. So what we have called teachers are not teachers. They are people who know how to just say some things, give you examples, and, and, and move up and down the stage. And in your head, they are teachers. Until one day you grow up and realize, oh, they're not teachers. Do you understand that when God visited me and took me to heaven, he told me one statement. He said, we have seven prophets on earth. Yes. Yeah. In Zimbabwe alone, we have more than 200 now. He said, we are only seven. And now I know five. I don't know the other two. Seven. I was given the names of the two. I have not met them. Now, imagine, imagine how many people call themselves prophets. It says he made some. That word some has a lot of connotation. It means there is a selection. It also means a few number. He made some to be. Now because teachers are being dropped on us like a conveyor belt from the cemetery, uh, sorry, seminary. <laughs> we think there are so many pastors. No, very few pastors. Some are simply doing the work of pastors. Some are doing the work of apostles, but they are not apostles. You know, you can do a little bit of accountants, but doesn't mean say you are an accountant. I don't know whether you still have temporary teachers in Zimbabwe. Yes, sir. That means they are not teachers, teachers. They were just taken from all level. Oh, just go there and do whatever. So all of you, what is my calling, sir? What is my calling? Let me tell you something. Some of the altars you are fighting is because you went into a calling that is not yours. So you're trying to be a prophet when you're a teacher. And you're trying to be a teacher when you're an evangelist. So consistently, you feel like, am I saying nobody teaches in Zimbabwe? No, they do. But are they teachers? No. I agree with you. 
they are temporary teachers. They just came from Olive and then they were pushed into his class. Awaiting acceptance at the teacher's college for them to go and learn how to teach. Are you flowing? Are you flowing? Trust me on this. I was only told seven prophets. And I have a lot of sons that prophesy. A lot. But I also know and I tell them, some of you are simply doing the work of a prophet. You are not prophets. Oh yes, they can call themselves prophets and stuff. Just like a temporary teacher calls himself a teacher. Are you flowing? If you take an earthworm and you put him in the same place with snakes, uh, if you give it more life, it will start thinking it's a snake. It looks the same, white in color. There are also snakes that are white. Don't be fooled. There is a lot that is happening. And when you allow a man to lay hands on you, the Bible says don't be a partaker of someone's sin. So don't be quick to lay hands on something. Why? Because a throne has already laid hands on you. But who is powering that hand that laid hands on you? When you listen to these people saying, I'm an apostle, I'm an evangelist, I do this, I'm the one, uh, God has given me this, and they are very good at talking. When you listen to that, such things, you are listening to a throne that powers a man. And most fake people look genuine. <laughs> Trust me on it. Most fake people look genuine. A counterfeit looks like the genuine, not. <laughs> so it's a whole lot of talk. There was a time where Pastor Chris was opposed every week on a daily basis for two years, straight years. People were on a broadcast opposing him, attacking him, saying all the kind of things that they were saying. But the vision that appeared to me that time, I was doing with uh, the Bishop Kaiju, and as we're dealing with it, a vision that God showed me and he said, this man here, I have skipped a generation. That was the death of one general, American general, Maurice Cerullo. That's when God told me, he said, I have skipped a generation to choose for me an apostle to a last dispensation. And it is Pastor Chris who leads Christianity as an apostle to the last dispensation. Why do you think I had to rush and go like, no matter what, I know he's my father. I've said it over and over again on video everywhere. Now, what do you think our church is called Christ Embers? Yours is called Spirit Embers. Remember what I said. I'm a member of Christ Embers. You are a member of Spirit Embers. Why do you think it's so? Because I knew the time of the end is now. And what are we looking for? We are looking to put the church in order. In the direction where it should go. Let me say this again. Christianity in its form now is a lie. It is a very bad imitation of the true thing. This is why Muslims are not convinced by you. Because they say they have a holy book called the Quran. You say you have a holy book called the Bible. Then you argue on points. But in the days of Elijah, you say here is an altar. The God that enters by fire is the real God. It wasn't about arguments, celebrate, cerebral exercise. No say, no ma'am. It was power. The kingdom of God is not what? In word, but in the demonstration of power. These apostles, what they are bringing is an argument, a division in the church. Fight this one. Fight angel. Fight this one. T.B. Joshua is not a man of God. Angel is a liar. This one is fake. Sit down. What nonsense. 
You think I'm here to support Passion Java? Let me tell you something. You get an apostle from somewhere, a man from, from, from Zimbabwe, somewhere, just waking up and saying, God told me, apostle, uh, prophet, Passion Java is dying. Are you, are you, you, are you crazy? What has Passion Java done to you? Most of you are very stupid. You think Passion Java is crazy. Let me tell you one thing. There is a plan to that madness. <laughs> Sit down. You think he's stupid? You are the one with no house. He has a house. Houses to be in fact. You are the one with no car. He has a car. Cars to be in fact. Now, now you. Yes, God has spoken to me. God from heaven sat down. Went to blow you. Sat down with you. And said, sir, you are going to tell Pashon Java he's going to die. Ah. <laughs> then next minute you say Passion Java is nothing if he is nothing so this God is spending all his time on a nothing telling you about a person with nothing you don't know what Passion Java was doing he has already caused you now to talk about him now your people now respect him now what happens next week you'll be alive and what do you do? And these people are very smart. They say Passion Java is going to die unless we pray for him. So if he doesn't die, they say they prayed for him. <laughs> if he dies, you say, you see how sharp I was? We cancel every death. Every plan of the enemy. Sit down. Okay, let's agree. Let's say Passion Java is a demon. You are the Christian. Why don't you stop him? And say, sir, stand here. I want to remove the demon from you. You might be shocked you are the one with the demon. It's nonsense. The Christianity is a joke we face now. It's all prophets about this one is dying. This one is dying. Now next week, this one is dying. This celebrity is dying. This one is dying. How many times? How many celebrities are in Zimbabwe? So many. So if you say an, a celebrity is dying, what do you think will happen? You think God is going to be like, yeah, I'm going to prove to you wrong. I will stop all celebrities from dying. One will die. Be specific. Tell us the day. Just come out and say, Passion Java is dying on this day. We say, okay, well, let's wait. We sit down. If he does not die on that day. The Bible says, if a prophet does not come, say something and doesn't come to pass. Hey. We will meet you. I am not arguing that the person prophesied. Please, fashion us with the dead. Do you know how difficult, how easy it is to be popular as a prophet in this country? Just prophesy anything that the opposition part likes. You'll be popular on Twitter. Not in reality, just Twitter. And you are a big prophet now. I'm so tired of these people. Leave Java alone. Concentrate on your church. Your church has 50 members. Then God from heaven is coming to tell you about Java. What about your 50 member church? Why can't you make it 200? Why can't you win 400 people? Why can't it be 600? Why are you concentrating on Java? And we have a lot of prophecies that didn't come to pass. Before elections, you said the president was going to lose. You said it. The video is there. Two weeks before he won, you saw Angel said the president. He said, uh-huh. 
Yeah, I, I want to say what God was saying. The president, if Zimbabwe will not change, I am Luno Nombre in the Vreto Kanuka. I Mental sickness. Do you know how I know about these things? Because some prophets who are big out there, they will call me and say, what is God saying about this? Is Java dying this week? I say, no. They say, what about that guy? He said, I said, I don't know about that guy. The royal family of Swaziland called me and said, the men said, there's a young man who said, we are going to be out of our power by, by next year. I said, okay. I don't know that guy. Whosoever told you I don't want to know the name, but me, as you bed angel, I will be visiting you two years from now in your country, sit down with you, and no, nothing would have changed. Was I not there? You can just talk, wake up, talk. This is not prophecy, it's analysis. It's called political analysis. Some of you are very, are very, very... I wanted to say something. I'm trying to find the right name. I know the name in Zulu. Why, why are you like this? People can just lie to you. Do you know fake prophecies that are coming about where someone goes like, I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit that at 10 past the 12 tomorrow, you are going to meet a lady called Sarah. And this lady called Sarah comes from number five, Tom Tondo Road in Chitungwiza, unit three. Oh, people are like, he said, he said you were going to meet. And people are already clapping. Then the man says, this man, he will be wearing white shirt. It will be from Savi Row. And the trousers will be size 35. People are like, whoa. Then the man says, now, the moment you meet him and he raps against you, you will die after two weeks. Please help him, man of God. Help him, man of God. I reverse it. Uh -uh. So we, we won't see the person at 12 past 11. That white shirt is now useless. And you fools have already clapped. Ah! Very sharp. So the sharpness is cancelled. You're welcome, son. The sharpness, you don't see that the sharpness has already been cancelled. And most of them are fear tactics. You're going to die within two weeks. Yes, now, the way you raise a seed now. Uh, <laughs> Even the money you've never brought in your life, you will bring it. Death, you bring all of it. Here it is, sir. God just told me to give everything I have. Then the man of God said, I reverse. He, 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 there's nothing he's reversing. There was nothing going to happen to you. <laughs> see, I, I can see fake prophets going like, No, 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 please don't go there. Don't be fooled. You are being fooled by people telling us stories that they never happen. Every time you hear an apostle speak nowadays, it's all about, I am on the 15th, I had a vision. You, you, won't, you won't verify that. There's no way we would know that. But one thing I know for sure is you can know and look at a person's face and look at a person's demeanor. When they move up and down the, the stage, if they saw what they say, they saw. The biggest marker if you want to see if a man of God is lying, look at the wife when he's telling you about visions. <laughs> Women don't lie. Women get shocked fast. I was in my house and then, and then, and then Enoch knocked on the door and Enoch ended. You see the wife going like this. Why are you writing notes if it happened? My wife was sitting with me like this. The wife is going like, ba, 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 ba. <laughs> I 
I think we are finished on this one. Don't be lied to. Pareta <laughs> Someone there. God is about to bless you. You were born around the middle of the year, middle of the year. Like June, July, August. There. Do you say, sit down. This is fake. Do you see when I'm doing like this? All these 2,000 people think I'm pointing at them. Then I say July or August. Do you think someone is going to come out? Don't listen to foolishness. Why don't you just go to EU? Why, why? You, you, yes, 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 you. Right now, like I'm doing like this, who thinks I'm pointing at them now? Who thinks I'm pointing at them? You see? There, 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 everyone. Born February. Ah, 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 ah. So I'm like, it's me. <laughs> you are being lied to every day. Sit down. Sit down. If I point at this, someone was fired. For someone fi fired from work. Ah, oh, it's me. The husband left. It's me. Everywhere. These problems are common. Go to one person. Literally say, you, you have this issue, you have this issue, you have this issue. <laughs> That's why it's important to mature and know the word for yourself. Hey! Uyo! Iwe! Someone here, just here. Not, not too far from here. The way you will move from that location you are staying. We will have a lot of testimonies here. Trust me on it. Where is Pastor Felix? I'm here, sir. On your What's side, happening right? now? Testimonies are taking place. Testimonies are taking place. Marate Kumanda. Relax. We have testimonies, prophet. Mm -hmm. And your God is doing wonders. I should know, Nate. Your God is doing wonders, prophet. Yes. My brother here came all the way from Ethiopia, prophet. Ethiopia. Yes, I come from Ethiopia. Yes. Prophet, he came for the Exodus night. Uh huh. And you gave him this wristband, prophet, that uh -huh. I'm holding. Yes. Prophet, two weeks before the Power Week. He was in the house with his young baby. Then he tried to feed the baby prophet. Mm. Unfortunately, the baby got choked the prophet wow. and died. Wow. He started to cry, moving to and fro in the house. Then later on he remembered that, but I've got a wristband. From the prophet of Christianity, Whoa. prophet Uber Angel. Whoa. He took the wristband prophet, just put it on the hand of the baby prophet. Ten minutes later, the pulse was back. The body was the warm prophet, and the baby just coughed the prophet. The thing and that was shocking came out. Yes. Came out, prophet. Yes. The baby coughed the prophet seven times. And came back to life, prophet, in Ethiopia. I should know, Nietzsche. She knows she, she knows my results. This thing have got results, prophet, for sure. This action has results. Resurrection Let the same place. results be in your life. Resurrection to every situation in the name of Jesus. Resurrection to your finances. Resurrection to your job. Resurrection to your business. Resurrection to your spiritual life. Your prayer life resurrection. But listen, Pastor. 
Yes, just sir. imagine. Brother, you are from Ethiopia. Yes, sir. I come from we, Ethiopia. Do you have a church or you have, are you, you, you go to another church? Yes, yes. You go to another church yes, or you have your church. own church? No, I, I'm just going to plant. Oh, you're going to plant, but yes. right now, where are you going to church? Uh, with the Prophet Miracle Zaka Church. Oh, so you go to another church? Yes. Wow. Just imagine. This is not like our member. <laughs> so the body began to warm up. The and body began to wax warm, prophet. And the thing came out. And the baby just coughed the prophet. Everything came out, prophet. And the baby came back to life. <laughs> Territorial commanders. Prophets are territorial commanders. Territorial spirits. You have nothing to fear about them. Highly defended. Highly protected. Yes. More testimonies, prophet. Mm -hmm. I've got my brother here who came from Meborain, prophet. My brother here, in his own words, prophet, he was actually doubting you. And he was not believing you. Join the queue. <laughs> sit down. Prophet. Oh, sit down, stand up, do whatever. When he saw the poster for the global night of deliverance. Yes. Things were tight for him. No money. Nothing was moving. Although he was not believing prophet. Prophet, mm -hmm. he just said, I am going to go and attend this service. If he is really a man of God, he is going to pray for me and my things are going to shift. And he came to this location with no dollar prophet, also doubting the prophet. Wow. And he was in the building. You located him, prophet. Wow. And prayed for him, prophet. And commanded everything to move. After that, prophet, right now he bought a Mercedes Benz prophet. There is a car on the screen. Look at him, prophet. A man who came with nothing, prophet. You located him. You don't understand. When you are down to zero, in Jehovah Chikopokopo, the God who doesn't need a runway, he doesn't reverse. He just goes up. And he's saying, even now, prophet, uh -huh. money is just coming to him, prophet. The money is coming. The money is coming. Not only that, prophet, he's saying, now I believe prophet Uber Angel is a man of God for me. He is now my personal prophet. Just for, just for him. He is my father. <laughs> From I don't believe him to my father you will see greater things. Balero ah. Tanimo. Jesus. Ah. <laughs> yes. More testimonies, prophet. Yes. I've got my brother here. Uh -huh. Achilles, prophet. My brother here is a musician, prophet. Yes. And this brother, prophet, came when you were in Mozambique. Wow. There was a Sunday when he instructed me, prophet, to say, I prayed for this wristband. Oh, so he came here when I was in Mozambique. Yes, prophet. And we were giving wristbands for free. These wristbands. For free, prophet. Mm. Prophet, when he was testifying, prophet, he said, why listen you were giving me the wristband? I actually saw prophet, not you. Hey, hey, hey. So to him, it's not me who handed over the wristband. It was actually you, prophet. We but have an open portal here. Everywhere we go, there is an open portal. You can go up, down the staircase of heaven. It is open. And his, heaven on earth. Yes. And his main prayer request, prophet, was for his music career to be taken to another level. He had no money. His music was not moving. Not, nothing was moving, prophet. But after getting the wristband, prophet, he was called, prophet, 
to be on 3K TV for the first time after getting the wristband. That's the photo of him. Jesus. He actually has the photo prophet. Having interview on 3K TV prophet. Not only that prophet, he now is a manager and a sponsor for his own music prophet. Hey! Hey! This Jesus is good. Jesus is good. You are next in line. No, you are first in line. First in line. For a miracle. More testimonies, prophet. Yes. You came to my brother here, prophet. Yes. Three weeks ago. And he was standing there, prophet. You went to him and say, how are you, sir? He said, I'm not fine. You said, why, <laughs> why are you saying you're not fine? He said, I want money. Prophet, you said, now it is okay. Monday after that service, prophet, people who were quiet for six months with his money, they just called prophet and say, come and get your money. Not only that, we are giving you more jobs, prophet. Right now, prophet, there are phone calls upon phone calls for him to get more jobs and more money coming to him, prophet. Icho. Icho. <laughs> we are proof producing Christians. Proof producing. You know, you can fight, you can fight, you can fight the equation. But don't fight the answer. Amen. In 2012, I used to say, you can fight one plus one. But they equal to two. They will say you're stupid if you start arguing. The answer is still two. I said the answer is two. The answer is two. These are the results we are talking about. Maratoli no say. Yes. I'm with Gogo here, prophet. Uh-huh. Gogo came last week, prophet, for the service. And she was in serious pain on the chest area. Serious pain. Also, the hand, prophet, was in serious pain, prophet. Mm. And because of that, prophet, that is why she was actually here in Harare. Because of that sickness. So she came to the service and said, if this man of God, if this prophet pray for me, I'll go back to my rural area and do my farming there. So last Sunday was the last war prophet. Wow. She came, she said there, prophet, you just came to her, prophet. Laid your hands on her, prophet. Right now, prophet, the pain is gone. The chest pain gone, the hand pain gone. Give Jesus a shout Everything. of praise. Give Jesus a shout of praise, somebody. Yes. She is now saying, now I can now go to, to Bora, to my rural area, so that I do my farming. She's excited. She's excited. Celebrate Jesus, somebody! More testimonies, prophet. Yes. Are you seeing the testimonies? Are you part of that testimony? Be part of it now. More testimonies, prophet. I've got my brother here, prophet. He trained to be a pilot in South Africa, prophet. He uh -huh. trained to be a pilot yes. in South Africa. But for him to get a job here in Zimbabwe, he was supposed to go through a procedure of rating, prophet, and certification, prophet. And that needed money, prophet. He didn't have money. Last Sunday, prophet, you declared, as we're closing, that money is coming and things are shifting, prophet. On Thursday, prophet, he just called someone, prophet, and said, I want a job. There is my job in your company. What did I say? All you do is, what, 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 what are you hearing? I hear a sound of promotion. Where? It's coming from you, but I don't know how you're doing it. Yes. And the man who answered, prophet, was actually the owner of that aviation company in Zimbabwe, Prophet. 
Wow. And the man said, what do you want? He said, I want my job. Then this man said, I am a pilot. I want my job. The guy said, your job is here. But do, I, do you have Zimbabwean ratings? This man said, I don't have the money, so I have nothing. The man said, I am paying your money so that you get the ratings. <laughs> Prophet. <laughs> Prophet. Yes. Last Friday, Prophet, the owner of that company paid 4,500 USD for him to get the certification and the ratings, Prophet. Right now he's employed as a pilot. Favor is locating you. Favor is answering. In the name of Jesus, favor is answering. More, more is happening. Yes, yes, amen. Just, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Spirit Embassy. One thing that God told me when I was coming here way back years back, he said, go make my people rich. I even asked the Lord, rich spiritually or physically? He said, money. Amen. Physically. The spiritual is already there. But this is it. Riches. Riches. You will testify of millions. You will testify of hundreds of thousands. You will testify. I know this. You will testify. Prophet. Yes. We have testimonies, Prophet. I'm seeing a lot of uh, international visitors. You know, if you are clever, you will stay here. Yes. My brother came, Prophet, uh -huh. last Sunday. And he had only one dollar, Prophet. Mm. No money at all, Prophet. Then you declared money prophet. Somehow, his sister, who was quiet for the past 25 years, who is in the UK, on Monday prophet, which is 24 hours after your declaration, the sister sent a message and said, send me all your details. I want to send you money. On this last Wednesday prophet. They will remember you. I said they will remember you. They will remember you. Everywhere you go, favor will speak for you this week. Favor will speak for you this week. Everywhere you go, favor will speak for you. And last Wednesday, he received the money from the UK prophet. From someone who was quiet for 25 oh, years. So he prophet. didn't just give the... Uh, do, you not, do you hear that? He didn't just give the details. Money came. Money came. Money is coming. Money is coming. Ah. Church in no nakiza man. More testimonies, prophet. Church in no. Yes. More testimonies, Prophet. Uh -huh. I've got my sister mother here from Birmingham, Prophet. From Britain. From Britain, Prophet. Mm -hmm. She came here, Prophet, and she has been hearing all the testimonies from the Good News City. Okay. And she thought these are just stories, Prophet. And last Tuesday, she went to the Good News City, Prophet, with a team which went there for a tour, Prophet. And she was saying, if these things are not just stories, I want to encounter God at a personal level. She entered into the Good News City Prophet, went to the Pillar of Fire Prophet. Mm. She tried to touch the Pillar of Fire Prophet, and the electric currents started to come out of the Pillar of Fire, filling up a whole body Prophet. And she was shaking and falling Prophet. She tried to move from the pillar of fire, going to the anointed pit, prophet. It was not raining, but she started to hear thunder, prophet. Booming thunder in the sky, prophet. He said, behold, God of prophet, you angel, is in this city. No, you are not hearing that. Uh, 
you see, these things are happening in that location. They happen here, they happen everywhere. But there is a location we go to. But just imagine that many people, there is a team that went there and had me minister to them. And everyone was hearing my voice. Yes, no sir. radio anywhere. Just imagine. Just imagine. This God, the God of this commission, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, is alive. And there are things you are going to experience. Some of you walk in that location and Enoch will greet you. Some of you will go there and the whole night it will be luminaries in the spirit. Ezekiel, Isaiah, sitting down with you, you will be writing notes. We will ask you the next day, who taught you? You say Isaiah was here. I'm not talking things that will just happen. People have done, have met them. But it's going to increase now. Uh, it's not like I was sleeping and I dreamt of. No, these people will be standing there. <laughs> yes. Testimonies, prophet. Yes. I'm standing with my brother here, Mr. Moyo, prophet. When he came to church, prophet, for the prayer request to Sunday, his prayer was, I only want prophet to touch me or touch my prayer request. And his prayer request, prophet, was for a headache which had lasted for a year, prophet. So he had a chronic headache. Chronic headache. Not ending. Try the doctors. It didn't work. Tablets. It didn't work. Do all men of scans, prophet. It didn't work. He came for the prayer request and he was holding the prayer request like this. And he just came, prophet, straight to him, prophet, tied the prayer request in that chronic headache which had lasted for a year, prophet, just disappeared, prophet. Oh, hey, hey, prophet. Not only that, prophet. And somebody says, What's the use of healing school? Not only that, prophet. Now, that, that is my tutor, the person who taught me and still teaching me, and I'm producing results. By their fruit, you shall know them. Now, Christianity has been reduced to arguments. Just, just, just whatever you can talk about, you know. You just talk. And then when we put you here and say, can you heal as much as Pastor Chris is healing? No, it's wrong what he's doing. Yeah, can you show us what is right? Just, please, just show us what is right. You can't produce results. Fighting the ones who are producing results. Christianity, it is available. That kind of nonsense is available because you are available to watch that nonsense. When you see something like that, stop it, block it, let it not even appear on your timeline, that person should never preach again to you. Just ban. Even if they preach nice stuff, stop it. Immediately. Yes. Not only that, prophet. Mm -hmm. Besides the chronic headache, prophet, this man, he had no money. And he was not able, prophet, to pay even the fees for his kids, prophet. Mm. But after your prayer, prophet, two weeks ago, a stranger just came and paid for all the areas, prophet, cleared, prophet. Give Jesus a shout of praise, somebody! May a stranger come to you, may a stranger come to you. May a stranger come to you. Not only that, prophet. This same person offered to pay fees for the whole of next year and even buying uh -uh. the uniforms. Ah uh ah. -uh. Ah uh ah. -uh. Are you still here? May it happen to. May it happen to you. May it happen to you. Nindruk <laughs> I don't know about you. Don't you just want a stranger to give you money you did not ask? A stranger to just come to you and say, here is 20 million, here is 10 million, here is 1 million. You say, what is your name? It doesn't matter. 
Yes, yes. Prophet, my brother here is holding this mantle, Prophet. Yes. And there are stories, Prophet, to this mantle. Prophet, you gave this brother this mantle, and the last man, the Prophet, he had a serious headache, Prophet. He couldn't see because of that headache. Mm -hmm. And then he remembered that, but ah, I've got a mantle from my man of God. He took the mantle, placed it on top of his head, prophet, and the headache disappeared immediately, prophet. <laughs> prophet, not only that, after seeing results, prophet, on Thursday, he was walking in town, past one of the clinics in town, prophet, and he saw someone who was having seizures. And he said, can I pray for this person? I can't. I'm not prophet, you better angel. But he remembered. that. But I've got the mantle which prophet prayed for. He just took the mantle. Went to a total stranger and said, let's try this one. Threw the mantle on top of that body prophet. The seizure just stopped the prophet. This is why we are here, to teach you to do what we do. When the prophetic is left only with the men of God, and the healing is only with the men of God, then we are a very weak army. In spirit embers, the usher will heal the sick. The protocol will deliver people. The choir team can deliver a whole service. Every one of you, you are careers of miracles. You are celebrities in the realm of the spirit. Yes. Miracles, prophet, mm -hmm. and testimonies upon testimonies. My brother here came last Sunday for the service. He had chronic disease, prophet. He having acids and stomach pains, prophet. And he was seated at that corner there, prophet. Mm -hmm. Then you prayed for one person. We had the same situation. And the person came this side to testify. Whilst this person was testifying, he started to feel heat on that other side, prophet. He went back home, prophet, and went to the doctors to check if the asses are still there, if the ulcers are still there, prophet. Everything is totally gone, prophet. He can now eat normally, prophet. No more pains, prophet. Healing Do you hear place. that? You shall be no more. Every pain disappears now in the name of Jesus. Every pain disappears now in the name of Jesus. By the authority of the Spirit. It's happening, yes. Prophet. Mama is crying here, prophet. Oh, yes. It's a testimony, and it's prophetic, prophet. Very prophetic. During the power week, prophet, she was even hosting other relatives who came to attend the power week. Mm -hmm. And on Friday, prophet, she was saying, I didn't have anything, prophet, to give these people. No food, no money. Saturday, she came for the service with nothing, prophet. Even going home where there was nothing. After the service, she just went outside and stand by the palm tree there. Standing like this. You finished the service, prophet. You went to your office. From the office, prophet, you were supposed to go home. As you were driving, prophet, you just turned your car. And came back through that other gate. Went straight to the palm tree. Where this lady was standing. I remember now. You took hundreds of US dollars profit. Handed over to this lady. Thank you Lord Jesus for the prophetic. Thank you. I remember now. You know I was, I was waiting to hear this testimony. So as it was going on I kept thinking. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But just imagine we're going, I said, let's go around. There is someone we need to give money to. Oh. 
But I just want to say something very serious. I'm not going to the palm tree today. <laughs> I'm telling you. Because <laughs> I can hear someone like, I'm, not, I'm going to the palm tree now. But just imagine what made you to stop there. And then God whispers, go around. Go there and do this. Imagine. Imagine the power of the Spirit. Imagine what God can do. When you surrender everything and say, I'm here. Imagine. You are the one that is coming back with a testimony. This coming week you have a testimony. Uh -huh. Prophet. Yes. The money that you gave a prophet was enough to feed everyone. And she's saying, I even bought a television set so that I watch my prophet. From that money, prophet. Hey! Do you see some people, what they do? They are like, I need this message. Imagine you have not told anybody you have a problem. You have not told a pastor. You have not sent a message. And God turns me around. Go and give this person money. I give you enough for your rent. I give you enough for your television. And I didn't even dictate you use this for this. She just thought, you know what? Let me use this money for TV. And some of you are here. You want to use it for something else. Someone is thinking, the word gave me this. I need more of it. There is a testimony here. Yes. A double testimony here, prophet. Uh -huh. I've got this family from the Caribbean, prophet. They're where, watching. Where is that? From the Caribbean, prophet. Caribbean. Belize. Belize. Yes, Belize. It's got Belize, Belize. <laughs> wow. Yes. Prophet, they're watching the prayer request Sunday, prophet. And their prayer request was for the sister prophet who was pregnant. And the doctors were saying, there is 50-50 chances for the baby inside of your womb to survive. Because they were seeing bleeding and abnormality on the baby prophet. She raised the phone prophet watching online, not physically. As you prayed prophet, the baby was born prophet with no abnormality, prophet, a healthy baby, prophet. God delivered through your prayer online, prophet. No physical attendance, prophet. That was testimony number one. And this couple, prophet, as you are seeing them like this, these ones are a testimony. 2022, prophet, during the prophetic retreat, prophet, they came, prophet, to attend the prophetic retreat. But as they came, prophet, they wanted to divorce. Wow. Prophet, they say the moment they sat in your presence to just hear you, you didn't even pray for them. You didn't touch them. But as they were hearing you, prophet, they started to see each other differently. The love was restored, prophet. Without you touching them. Without the message on, on marriage. No message on marriage, prophet. There is an environment. If you get into a location, preaching is important. And if you preach healing, it raises healing faith. But also, a throne that is controlling a situation. Whatever economy is supplying your addiction, it is the economy that will deliver you or imprison you. They came into the economy of the prophetic. And that economy produced results that they needed. They are crying, prophet. A marriage restored, prophet, just by being in your presence. Give prophet. Jesus a shout of praise, somebody! And if they go spirit embassy, China will be in. You don't know Buddha in and the Buddha. <laughs> yes. We have this testimony, prophet. Yes. The amazing yes. prophet. We're about to finish. We're about to finish. 
You declared prophet five days of miracles. Prophet, my sister here, yet an uncle was working in a mine, prophet, in Chegutu. Prophet, something unfortunate happened, prophet. The mine collapsed. Mm. And the uncle was also inside of the mine, in the tunnels, prophet, with others. Prophet, my sister here remembered. Prophet declared five days of miracles, number one. And I also have this wristband, which prophet gave me. She took this wristband, put it on top of the photo of the uncle, who was underground, in a collapsed mine, prophet. Whoa. This was 9 a.m. in the morning. 12 noon, nothing is happening. Excavators are there. They are trying to take the people out, but they didn't manage. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, nothing happened, prophet. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 p.m., prophet, in the night. That's when the uncle came out, prophet, alive with no scratches. But... Everyone else died, prophet. I except hear the sound. Uncle. There is a sound. Only the uncle survived. The others died, prophet. You see, when things like this take place, right? People say, why are you excited? Some people died. We're not excited about death. It's the same thing when you talk about Israel. We're not excited about... Oh, Israel, some people were saved by the power of God. We are not saying the Palestinians' lives are not important. No. No. We are always happy about what God is doing to intervene. That doesn't mean, say, the other ones who passed on are sinners. They are not the right ones. We're just saying, let's thank God for what is taking place. If we thank God for your life, it doesn't mean, say, we are, we are happy that someone who died today died. We are well aware there are people who are dying right now and we are breathing. But we are thankful that we are breathing. But when a man has a representative and God chooses to honor that faith, it is important to celebrate God. And as I've told you before, if God delivers us, he's our deliverer. If he doesn't deliver us, he's our deliverer. If he doesn't heal us, he's our healer. If he doesn't save us, he's still our savior. Revelation makes him who he is, not what he does. Are you getting this? Who wants to be the next one? Who wants to be the next one? I want you to pray. Just a few minutes and we go into some joy. In a few minutes, joy will be around the world. Begin to minister. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, pray, pray. Lata yike tete rika bohada Mante li papaya tia bosate Rika pasate Raka papaya Rete te rika padia bosate Nimpra kata la kabaha Rika to yeke pia kata Rapapaya Yeke pia rikato Shikra kate Rita kaya bohade Shepra kate Lakrede barakada bosama lenkra diza Lekrede zibaya kada bahate Raka zoda balankra diza Zabato, lebre de ha sota manda ya bahata, lekre di zaboya koza mande, la tere ba soda baya kade bahato, la tere ba sahate mazede mande, la kredi bo sa manda ya bata hata, rako da baya kade ba sode mazede mata, len kredi zo mahuta baya kate, la tere ba sada baya kada mazada mande, la tere bo sa manda ya bahata, lekre zo ba 
In Jesus' mighty name, wherever you are, raise your hands. In this moment, at this time, I want you to be marked for success. Marked for something bigger. Bigger than yourself. Where you say to yourself, you know, after this service, I walk differently. People will perceive you differently. They will see you in a different light. I'm telling you now. I speak by the authority of the Spirit. That your shape in the Spirit becomes different. That when spirits see you, they see you as a different person. This minute, as I speak to you now, your face is being shifted. Let me tell you something. A lady came to me in Britain from Nigeria. And he said something very important. She said, I'm, I'm rich. But the company I have is not receiving anyone. They are not paying back the money. They come for business, but they have not paid for over two years. I said, the problem you have is your face is different. And your building presents a different face. She said, I don't understand. I said, you have got a spirit that is hiding your face. She was so concerned. Went back to Nigeria after prayer. When she got to her business, the first customer that ordered thousands arrived. Look, she was in the business of making bricks. And she, she dared to ask the, the person, say, the money you are bringing now, what happened two years, all the two years, you didn't bring my money and you're not answering my phone. 
You know what she said? You know what the man said? He said, all the time I came here, there was a car mechanic, car garage. Listen, this is a bricklaying company. But every time people arrive there to pay their bills, they found it as a car garage. Imagine, that means somebody hid. The face of that business became something else. It wasn't what it was. Imagine what you look like to the person who should give you money. You look like an enemy when you should look like a friend. I decree and declare now a change in your life. You will look like what they need. You will walk like what they want. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Change your face before your enemies. Don't chalk, don't chalk. This is not time to play. The enemy is not joking with you. The enemy is not playing. The enemy is not playing with you. Lanti 
in Jesus mighty name we pray Who is the mother? This one. You are the you are the mother. What's wrong with the baby? She has runny stomach and vomiting. So it's just weak. Yes. How old is one? Eternal rock of ages. Father, in the name of Jesus. Heal. Might name of Jesus. Might name of Jesus. From the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Be made whole in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Is the father in hospital? Where is the father? At home. He didn't get hit? Huh? It's here, the pain. Yes. When was the accident? On Friday. Friday. Yes. The cone spin three times. Huh? spin three times. So the, the minibus... Three times. Yes. By the authority of the Spirit, we cancel death now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Protection from every evil altar. It is done. It's well. How are you? What do you want God to do for you? I want my... name of Jesus. Whatever altar, whatever throne given to this family, I break it as a prophet now in the name of Jesus. No amount of witchcraft can be able to overtake them. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break every pattern. Mighty name of Jesus. Every pattern is removed. I cancel it. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus, Rekalushe Mandesu, Vretula Krate Mehendusa, Separatos, and then it goes that chest pain what do you want God to do for you for my marriage Mighty name of Jesus.
Jesus, I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the Spirit. You are well. It is well. Thank, thank you, Prophet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Prophet. I see fire, fire of the Holy Ghost. This soul bless it. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Catch the fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire, catch the fire, fire of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, catch the fire. Demons cannot get into you, and a preacher takes three hours to remove. It's an injustice. No matter how violent they are, when they meet the power of God, there is something. I want you to watch their life from now. Thank you, Jesus, I'm free. Thank you, Jesus, I'm free. Testimonies are taking place, prophet. Jesus, come here. Don't worry about it. Do you have your phone? Yes. Get out your phone. Get your phone out. Because of time, I don't have time. Because of time. Because of time. The Lord is going to do wonders for you. Because now, it's a very simple thing. Even this one that is gone. Is also failing to find money. Very true. Huh? Yes, sir, it's like walk. there were promises when there, now, now this one needs to be fixed. This paper, this paper, we are just waiting for this to happen. So the money to even bring to you, so you to do your thing, is no longer there. Very true, man of God. Huh? Very true. <laughs> by fire and by power.
Because this is a very simple thing. They are altars. <laughs> you are a product of an altar that was fighting someone. Stand up. Look at how your age, your, your age now, right now. I'm seeing you. A young age like this. This is a young age like this. Even when we talk about your father, the enemy killed him. Huh? My father is dead. Your father is dead. Yes. Professor! Then in the realm of the spirit, I see him as a young boy like this. And I'm seeing him not here in Harare. I saw Mutare. And I saw in Angamvura. You visited like an aunt in Angamvura as a young kid. You got sick after eating okra. Stomach ache. It was like Angambura. Very true, man of God. I was young. Very young. I remember, I remember eating, eating sardines. You know, okra in, with chili. Somebody is fighting his aunt. He goes there to eat, just eating. The food was not poisoned. Now, you tried everything to work here. It has failed. Even people you know you are better they are prospering. You're not prospering. Yes. Now you gathered a few amounts. Yes. Ramsack the whole house. Yes. To the extent that even now, if you had clothes, you would sell all of them. TV, nothing there. Zero. Zero. You were going to the bed now. I even sell my television set. You, you sold your television. So that I can just get So you can go to Britain. They sold everything, prophet, for the wife to go to Britain. Everything. Even the television said, this throne is speaking for you. Uh, he's not hearing me. I said, this throne is now speaking for you. I receive. Where do you think the elders sit? On thrones. The level of the prophetic when it grows is to sit on thrones. That's why God will not do anything until he reveals his secrets. To what? To his servants, the prophets. And then John is crying because there is nobody who knew the secret. And an angel came out, he had no secret. Then one elder who possessed the capacity of the prophetic said, do not worry, John, do not cry. I have the information on who is worthy. What has happened? An elder is a keeper of secrets. A prophet is a keeper of secrets. So prophets, by reason of keeping secrets, they are elders. Maybe you do not understand the actual, the actual etymology, or rather the building blocks of the word elder. It carries the word El, the strong one, Jehovah. <laughs> it is the ones who sit, they are the ones who sit in the council of God, co-rulers with God. When you meet a prophet, you meet a judge. They can decree an end to something, a beginning of something. They can even put laws in place. That's why the Bible says the church is built upon the foundation of apostles and prophets. That means we are the building blocks of Christianity. Never fight a prophet. No matter what your apostle tells you. Say, okay, my apostle, I love you. But my mouth will stay shut for now. Because his boldness is madness. It's not even biblical. It's not even godly. But guess what? You will suffer for somebody's madness. Don't be part of it. Relax. Now, I want you to call your wife yes. and say, Our lives is, have been changed now. Yes. Because she's trying everything. You have tried what you could. Yes. And now while she's there, you are here. Sir, I'm telling you now. Your life will move. I, I said your life will move. I receive men of God. As a prophet of God, I decree and declare. Yes. 
I push you to higher degrees. In the name of Jesus. Listen, prophets should decree life. Death only to enemies. God who loved us, while we were yet sinners, he so loved us. Do you know gifts and callings are without repentance? Meaning you say, if God gives you a gift, he cannot shift it and change it. Some of these young people, the way they reason is, if I fight angel, if I fight this other person, if I fight uh, this prophet, ah, you know what? My name will go up. And you don't know it that there are wars behind the scenes. You just join in. You say, I love this man. He's prophesying truth. All his prophecies are coming to pass. We have many that we know have not come to pass. Because we know the other ones are just analysis. Anyone can do it. And I can produce one by one and show you. Leranoske. Come, sister. I want to give you, you with a pep. With your certificates. Come here. Who is staying with this one? Let, her come. Let them come. They come as well. It's all right. Give me these papers. You did very well. You did very well. Thank you. I want to decree and declare that your life from now onwards will take a different turn. I receive, yes! There is a shift in the spirit. Amen. The moment I traveled there, God ministered to me something. He said, change the lives of the people that are in this location. That this testimony Sunday, you will leave this church with a testimony. The day that will not happen, it is the day rapture will happen. They did not hear anything. Your miracle will happen. As you leave this location, you'll be looking on your phone like this. And you wonder what company is this? I never applied there. But they are here with me. Raleka Nomando Skate Buyer. So when were you at this university? When were you at this university? Um, from 2011 to 2014. From 2011? To 2014. To 2014. But I'm seeing, it's like whatever you studied for, there seems to be no job for you. True prophet. It's like you've done everything. But it seems like there is no job for you whatsoever. True prophet. But I was taken by the spirit. Prophesy, man of God. I'm standing in a location. And the enemy is trying to kill you. Yeah, and it seems as if the enemy has pressured you into a corner where anger is rising in you. Help me, man of God. To you, it's not even anger anymore. It's like, I don't care. Help me, men of God. Ah, Luciana, that's why I'm here. Enka is rising in you. Because I'm looking at it this way. Do you know, do you know, your husband did not die from COVID? I didn't know. They recorded God. COVID though. Yes, they say it's COVID. It's true. They recorded COVID. They said COVID. Yes, prophet. They said I'm COVID. I'm looking at the hospital records. They say COVID. But it is COVID related because he died during COVID. But now, he what has happened is this. When they took the body to bury, you have not even gone to the grave. You have not gone there. True, men of God. Anger. True, I did not go. I did not because this man son. left you before he died. He had left you. True, true man of God. So you said, I don't care. I'm just having a son and that's the end of it. I don't care about what happens there. I'll just stay where I am. To the extent that your son doesn't even know what's happening around you. True man of God.
I did not attend the funeral, and um, I have a son who is seven years old, and he was given his grandfather's name. And you changed it? I changed it. What is your son called now? He's called Ninyasha. So you called? Yes, I called him Ninyasha, but he's And you took from the king? I named him David. The king. Prophesy! You are too much prophet. Now, I want to reinstate him as a king. Amen, man of God. Because even doctors told you you will not amount to anything. There were some, some problems with your child. He was it's, born with a heart condition. They said his heart has two holes. And he's hmm. supposed to go to for a surgery in India. Sister, am I your doctor? No, you are my prophet. Was, was he there? Was I there when you were giving birth? Only the spirit of prophecy was there. Amen. But she answered very perfectly. She said, you are my prophet. You are my prophet. I decree and declare. I receive. Whatever altar or throne that is fueling from its economy, yes. your downfall, I cancel it by fire. Amen. I, I drop it by fire. Amen. If you are under the influence of my voice, whatever altar is financing your downfall, die by fire. <laughs> As I'm standing here now. I promise you, lady, yes, sir. God is going to finish your table. I receive, men of Finish God. your house with good. I receive. You will not suffer. I receive. And he has already forgiven you for even the smallest revenge you wanted to put. I because I understand when you love somebody and then they plan their things and then they just leave. Sometimes when somebody leaves, you want their life to actually prove that they left you. When they are left by husband, that <laughs> husband has to, be, has to be a witch doctor. I speak now by the Spirit. You will be driving that Mercedes Benz. You will drive to his house. You now. You, 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 you. Like I always tell you, just go there and rev. Vroom, 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 vroom. Don't stop until he comes out. When he comes out, you say, hey, what's happening? You say, uh, uh, can I help you, sir? And you know what you say? Am I a diva? You say, no, 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 no. It's Teresa. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm trying to say now? I know, I know, Lynette. You see, <laughs> you say it's Lynette, you get the point. Yes, prophet. <laughs> <laughs> so, you are raving like that. You say, this is it, this is it. Then, then. They say, okay, so where are you going? Say, to, 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 a, to, a, to a seminar. Don't say to a conference. Seminar. Seminar looks posh. It looks like for, for intelligent people. Seminar. Don't say to a church meeting. Uh-uh. Seminar. Iwe. <laughs> Iwe. Who are you? Your professor. Iwe. You will surprise them. I said you will surprise them. You will shine. You are prophesying already. Her name is Lynette, prophet. By the authority of the Spirit, you are moving to higher degrees. As she moves to higher degrees, you are moving to higher degrees. I receive. By fire and by power. 
Amen. Whosoever said you are going to fail is a lying. I tell you, you are prospering. I receive. The difference between Adonia and Solomon is simple. One consulted a pastor, another consulted a prophet. And you are my prophet. By reason of that, you will see it. I receive. In this land of the living, you will see success. I receive. Favor will speak for you everywhere you go. I receive. Raise your hands and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Very soon, very soon, we'll be celebrating. Father, in the name of Jesus, we cast the spirit of Henia in the name of Jesus. Henia, be gone in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Prophet. It's all right. Let them, they will test wherever they need to test with doctors and stuff. Come here. Huh? Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. Come here, stand here. Raise your hands, everybody. I want to do a small segment. Testimonies, Prophet. What's happening? Prophet, you were moving, Prophet, by this aisle. Mm -hmm. Prophetically, you just touched the chest of this lady. And since 2019, Prophet, she had serious chest problem, even the heart problem. But the moment you touched her... So it was a consistent thing. It was a consistent thing, like a chronic thing, Prophet. But you just touched the heart, Prophet, and the pain disappeared there and there, Prophet. It's surely a testimony, son, the prophet. Give Jesus a shout of praise. Ah, let your shout be louder than your neighbor. 
In Jesus' mighty name. More testimony, pray. prophet. Miracles are happening, prophet, on your right side. Prophet, this yes. baby prophet, you just prayed for this young girl prophet. And she was in the hands of the mother prophet. Because it was difficult for her to even send prophet because of stomach problem. Even for her to eat prophet, she was vomiting prophet. But you prayed for her prophet some minutes ago prophet. And right now, she is standing prophet. She was just eating right now. Wow. She finished all this, not vomiting. She is standing prophet. Instant miracles prophet. This, listen. These are the results of healing school. The one that said is useless. She is even walking prophet for the first time, prophet. She was in the hands of the mother. Now look at this prophet. She's just Give walking. Give Jesus a shout of praise, somebody. I listen. Our healing institute is birthed out of healing school. I was actually attending healing school when the voice of God spoke to me. I said, now is the time to start healing institute. Healing institute. You know, I've told so many people, don't oppose T.B. Joshua if you have not produced his results. Don't oppose Pastor Chris if you can't match even a tenth of his results. Do you notice the people who talk too much are the ones with no results? The ones with the results are quiet. Have you, had, have you ever heard Doug Howard Miro saying anything again as Pastor Chris? No. He's used in healing so he understands. Even Pastor Chris, have you ever heard him speak against anyone? But if you speak against me, I come after you. That's it. There is no playing there. I will. And me, don't think you become popular because of me when you... Uh -uh. I will leave you very much undressed. <laughs> I have my times where I keep quiet. But fighting a man of God, I will defend every man of God. And all these prophets, prophesy something else. Java is dying. This one is dying. Are you, are you, is it the end? Are you done with the prophecies now? What has Java done to you? Nothing. Just want to talk. I'm, listen, I'm not defending him because I talked to him. No. I don't even know the last time I, I spoke to him. But don't ever in your life attack a man who is not even saying nothing to you. Zero. God is so angry. And he came to you in Ngulumani. <laughs> to tell you about Java in Washington, D.C. Right there in Ngulumani. <laughs> Aish! Kapenzi Gemwana. There is so much. People are struggling with so much. Focus on a man with his family. Doing whatever they are doing. It's their life. What is it to you? He is a father in America there. Do you think the father is quiet? If he sees something he doesn't like, he will tell his son, no, don't do this. Do you think there's no other prophets to tell him? Couldn't you find a phone call and a phone and make a phone call? Say, this is what is happening. Couldn't you call two or three people? Why is YouTube your way of prophesying? If I'm prophesying about Israel, I don't know anyone I can call in Israel. And the whole book of Christ needs to hear about it. If it's another man of God, he says, do not oppose an elder. It's simply, an elder simply means somebody respected in the church who is a leader. The Bible says, do not. See, see. Paul himself opposed the high priest who was not a Christian and he was beaten. 
when he was beaten, said, I'm sorry. I did not know that this was a high priest. Not in church. High priest who didn't believe in Jesus. He said, for the Bible says, do not oppose the leader of your people. That means Java is leading his congregation. All right? If he's leading his congregation, guess what? He's a leader of the people. The most you could do is to call somebody close to him. This is what I was shown in a vision. There are ways to reach people. But anyway, it's a false prophecy. Did you see Java in this church? No. Did you see Passion Java coming here? No. So you think I'm defending him because he's some, some part of our ministry? No. He was my son then. All right? I had the time to mentor him at that time. He's mentored by someone else. And I have no problem with it. But I'll tell you the truth. You don't just utter nonsense, whatever you want. Yeah, this one is dying. This one is dying. Then look at it. The president is going to, to, to not win. He's not winning. Two weeks before election, he's winning. Uh -uh. This prophecy, what is God? This, is, this God is talking to you is bipolar. And he said, consistently, he's making prophecies that don't come to pass. Nothing. But because he makes prophecies that oppose the government, guess what happens? They're like, yeah, he's a real one. Let me tell you something about God. God does not come from your Angus house. Ask me what to go. You will be so shocked. God will say, I want Trump to rule. And you'll be like, what? Trump, I don't like him. God said, yeah, he will beat Hillary. And what will you do? He knows the reasons why he wants him there. Mugabe was in power for how many? Did we not have prophets prophesying? Did they not talk to God? Did he leave? <laughs> because God anoints the presidency before he anoints the president. So even if you if you were not chosen by God and you sit on the throne, that is anointed. Remember, it was the altar that was sanctified. And then the gift is sanctified because of the altar. <laughs> You'll be so shocked someone you don't like is on the throne like this. You're like, what happened? The throne is anointed. Now the thing that sits there is now anointed by reason of the altar. And you fight the person you are fighting the altar. And then you fight the anointed that anointed the altar. You are no longer fighting the men sitting in the th on the throne. You are now fighting the God who set the men on the throne. That is anointed. Learn spiritual rules. You will be wise. That's why we see angels. Because angels are legalistic creatures. They operate on rules and regulations. They know altars are an intersection between divinity and humanity. So men of God, before they built their houses, they built an altar. Amen. Abraham, four times he gets to this mamre, he builds this one, this one. He's building altars. And every time he builds an altar, an angel arrived. He knew, if I build an altar, I have placed a location by which angels can land. He was sitting by the altar, by his gate, and God, the Holy Ghost, and Jesus arrived. Because when you create an altar, you have created a location where angels can act. Notice here. And altars don't know time scales. They don't know it's 2023. Abraham built an altar. What did Isaac do? Same location. Years later, he's there. What is he doing on this altar? Same one that was built by his father. By his father's father. What is he doing? He knows. Angels don't know time. Do you know the place where Jacob laid? His, that was an altar. That was way back Abrahamic time. It was an altar. And he went there and slept there. 
and then angels were going up, down. Why? Because they just know it's an altar. They know it's like an airport. It's a plane. They know they land there. For whatever reason, they don't care when it was built. I've created altars for spiritual sons and daughters here that are speaking for you. You don't know why you're not consumed. You don't know what they have tried to do to you and you're not dead. You don't know what is speaking for you. This is the reason why Good News City is important. I'm telling you. Raise your hands. I want to do something very, very quick. Very quickly. Very, very quickly. Renamangles to Ushta Aragandos. Ah, yes, salute. Very ma anunza kero kanunga. Begin to pray that God will lift everything about you to higher degrees as we close the service. In a very few minutes, this thing will be closed. Marita gona mosh elebura. Zerokuna Malay, Tikusa, Radizo Malenka, Dabashika, Malamos, Zele Kradosi, Marajo, Kobotelagia, Santa, Rabada Hatimanda, Jaya Sotelebre, Zebada Kaya, Gabala, Santa, Lamoel, Setio, Lepe, Tolokuski, Zamarakode, Jaya Kosti, Malanka, Nama, Zila, Tirebaso, de Malanka, Dizo, in Jesus' might name. Do we have Fred and Mokutavo? Send there. Do we have Tendai Murumbi? Stand there. Tendai Majindu. Victor Gwaradzimba. Dion Chirumu Mimba. Shama Chirumu Mimba. Krinos Mugauri. Florence Mugauri. Takudzwa Kanyasha. Christwish Kanyasha. Justice Mabika Nyarai Mabika. Let's quickly do that. <laughs> Extend your hands toward them. Begin to pray for them for the grace of God to be upon their lives to increase mightily. Father, I decree and declare over these that are here by the authority of the Spirit that every economy that is available to you, the unsearchable riches of Christ, meet them at the point of their need. That as they stand there, the Spirit will move them to higher degrees. I speak by the authority. Let increase be there. Increase, increase, increase. Increase, increase, increase. Let them be recorded as deaconesses and deacons. Yes! By the Spirit of the Lord. And on this side, Dominic Masamba, Hope Masamba, Clayton Guava and Daniela Guava, Petronella Nyabadza, Joel and Faith Chipfuamiti on this side, Solo Gumunyu, Miliad Gumunyu, Ash Barrod. Musamajga and Shailet Musamajga, Munyara Koramba, Maide Koramba, George Segula, Hezo Segula, Nyashamweta, Nyashamweta, on this side. Raise your hands. Father, I decree and declare for these that are in this place that increase 
Barreta, Leishkura de Loman, Berit Husker, in the mighty name of Jesus, increase upon their lives. Father, shout at them. Shout at them. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you rise up as assistant pastors. <laughs> May the Spirit of the Lord raise a standard that there is protection in everything that they do. That as examples of this ministry, they are able to do great and mighty things. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you. We see whether we can have greater protocol in this house. Ed Chitseko and Alice Chitseko go on this side. Friday and Sandra Piri to this side. Sir, Miss Serbi Nyaruviro and Gertrude Nyaruviro. Tirivan Njengwe. Patricia Njengwe. Tapia, tapiwa Nyawo, Tinashe Nyawo, Prosper Tafirei, Rutendo Tafirei, Farai Matenda, Sungi Matenda, Tonde Kamuti, Olin Kamuti. I repeat, Eddie Chitseko, Alice Chitseko, Friday and Sandra Piri, Misero Binya Ruviro, Getru Nya Ruviro, Tirevan and Patricia Njengwe, Tapiwa and Tinashe Nyao, Prosper and Rutendo Tafirei, Farai Matenda and Sungi Matenda, Tonde Kamuti and Olin Kamuti. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the power of the Almighty be upon you. Be upon you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be empowered. Empowered for more. Empowered for more. Empowered for more. As you rise up, you are pastors. In the name of Jesus.
the spirit of the Lord, like a mighty rushing wind, is dropping mantles everywhere. Catch your own mantle now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Raise your hands and I want to get everyone around the world watching by way of Zoom and our television channels around the world, even YouTube. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the authority of the Holy Spirit, this minute, this time of giving of our offerings and our tithing, it is a sacred moment. I decree and declare that your people mature to this level of understanding what it is and the benefits of it. Father, I do not pray that they understand the benefits and give because of the benefits, but because of revelation of what you are and just a thanksgiving mentality and spirit in them. Father, I pray for every offering, every seed that is going to be sown today, that it is high up there, lifted before you, that when you saw what the Cornelius did the Roman soldier did, Cornelius, you pushed angels towards his direction. May you push angels toward their direction. Toward every person who saw, every person who give today. Every tither. In Jesus' mighty name. Raise your seat before the Lord. It might be your card. It might be whatever it is. Raise it up high. And can, can we have the, the team here quickly, please? Renazeledon Kanemon. Those who are watching by way of TV, television, social media, Zoom, participate in your, all your mighty, participate, be part of it. Just act like you're here. Experience what we experience. And it is important to note that there is nothing that a person can say, I can't give. I don't have anything to give. You are a walking warehouse of seeds. Anything on you is a seed. Your wave is a seed. Your smile is a seed. Your hug is a seed. Just your greeting is a seed. You are a walking warehouse of seeds. Why then does God say money is the seed? Because God is after the thing you don't want to give him the most. Anything he considers a God, he wants to humble it. By saying you can't control my people. And the way to control money is to give it. Father, I pray for this offering, this seed. As they raise it up high, God shelter them under the shadow of your protection. Let lack be away from them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Come and give your offering. Come and give your offering. You can, the whole place is yours. Up to here you can give. And those online, I'm speaking to you. It's time for you to give. The promptings are on your screen. Don't say, I'm not there physically, so I'll just give whatever I can. Develop a system by which you no longer give what you used to give. If yours was 200, give more. If yours was $1, get to a level where you say, not me. I'm going to higher degrees now. Sula mahali agosa Sei gora tumba Siga lo ja jo se ada Aya Aya Osa la sala Si Siga la no ja
Those who are tithers, come forward if you are a tither. Those around the world, you are tired. This is your time. And be part and parcel of those who are partners with this ministry. In March 2024, we have Good News Malaysia. So get your visa ready. Let's go. Pastor Yoshiki has been asking me to come to, I don't know where he is, to Japan. Next year, Japan. Good news, Japan. Thank you. And I was supposed to go to my son's ministry in India, but it was too busy for us to do that. But I believe this coming year, without fail, we are going to go there. We are going to go there. And I know he's hearing me, so. I told you this year we're going to have a lot of battles, but we'll win all of them. Amen. And here we are. If they stopped, no, the enemies will keep on doing it. But Goliath's ministry was only to fall. And David's ministry was to kill Goliath. Ours is like David's ministry to kill Goliath. But the nicest thing about it is this is not even a Goliath. It's nothing. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, you instituted this call to tithe because you knew exactly what you were bringing to your people. I speak by the authority of the Spirit that whatever this is, whatever amount it is, you are a God who knows exactly what people have in their spirits. Since it came from their spirits, increase them. Show them your mercy. Let prosperity be their miracle. In Jesus' mighty name, every business that was not working, let it start working. Customers, be attracted to them. And those who have a brain and a mind for money, I pray for a business acumen to be sharpened. That brilliant ideas for businesses begin to be wrought among them. In the name of Jesus, wherever they are as they're giving right now around the world, Let that miracle be found in the name of Jesus. Around the world, as you're watching me now, let that miracle be done right this minute in the name of Jesus. I speak by the authority of the Spirit. Let a miracle now be wrought in Jesus' mighty name. Let that miracle be found in the name of Jesus right now, around the world. I speak now. Let my hand be a point of conduct. By the spirit of the mighty God we serve, Jehovah Jireh. As you extend your hand toward mine around the world, money is coming. By reason of your tithing, money is coming. In Jesus' mighty name, drop it here. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Just a few minutes. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Every throne demolished now in the name of Jesus. Where are you coming from? I'm in Buderiro, sir. Good news on your phone. Huh? What did you do? But you are a strong man. What's happening to you? Hmm? Huh? Have you ever done boxing before? <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Send that. I see you in a different location. Thank you, Prophet. This, this life will present better for you. Amen. I Just believe it. it. Salakai. Believe it. I pray. Your life is changing now. Amen. There is no spiritual entity that will stand as an officer to praise. Vend your access to any place Amen. you want to go to. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, prophet of God. Receive it. Receive it. Just receive it. As a matter of fact, just celebrate. Now raise your hands. We are finishing. We are closing. So just stand up. Grace Embassy. Mm. I'm coming. Ah, time. Time, I wish you I had time. Yeah. I wish I had time. I have no time. Samuel Hunt came on. Those Pagwana Jess man. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus is sweet. You, you will move in a direction. Your money will answer. There is a call, but your money will answer. I tell you now, your money will answer. Let's move. It'll be well. I said it'll be well. How are you? There. A rolling ash Let your let it answer. Let there be an answer. An answer. A supply of resources. 
A supply of resources. A supply of resources. A supply is resources. She said, sow this seed. Yeah. I receive it. Let that miracle happen. Amen. Escalada Cron de Vretales Corades. Ay, Clippens. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. When Jesus, when Jesus came down, we just want to dance because this coming week is Miracle Sunday. Ah, Miracle you're not Sunday. It. Miracle. When Jesus came down, when he landed, when there was trouble, he came down to Africa. So we must praise God. Praise God in an African way. Somebody make some noise for Jesus. Have you been blessed?
Amazing. Let's, let's appreciate brother Flim B. What a ministration from our man of God, the prophet of Christianity, prophet Yubere Angel. He said it's a testimony Sunday and for sure we saw testimonies upon testimonies. Let's appreciate our man of God one more time, one more time. Let's appreciate our man of God. And next Sunday he said it's a what? It's a miracle Sunday. Let's all be here and make sure you invite someone. You invite someone for our miracle, miracle Sunday. And for all those who are watching us online, God bless you. God bless you. We are not out of good news. We are just out of time. For those who are watching us online, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.